Respect trans kids, affirm trans rights, stand with Ukraine, Black Lives Matter, trans visibility is valid. <laughs> you fucking cuck. I know that's one of your favorite words, you right wing asshole. Say, come on, cuck. Ask real fucking questions, cuck. And don't be a fucking pussy, because you're a bigoted asshole, too. Uh, Fuck thank you. Stop being gilded, domesticated garbage. Stop being weak. And when you see a threat come down on you, deal with it. Become a human again. Stop being weak. Hi, I'm a liberal. Oh, I want to be your friend. Yo, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing tonight? Hopefully, everyone had a uh, good Monday. Getting my hair cut tomorrow. Gonna stop. Wait, gonna look, stop looking like a. Wait, hold on. Fuck. Gonna look, stop looking like such a queer. Nice, bro. Congrats. Presenting my most exciting combat project, the Savage Gauntlet. The parameters of this test explore the combined efforts of five exobiters' skills and abilities. Only the true dream achievements will succeed. Wait, Groovy, what country are you in, man, that you don't have a uh, suitable student loan for university? Can't be the U.S. We hand out fucking student loans like Halloween candy. The U.S.? What? There ain't no way you didn't get enough money from a student loan. What the fuck? No one deleted your last message. You just didn't send it. There is no deleted message in the chat. Is the uh, game volume too loud, or is it just me? It seems loud.
Oscar Rodriguez with a two. Got my eBay package. Star Wars 1 through 6 and Rogue One. Nice one. Did you buy that uh, collection Blu-ray with the... Uh, um, it's like the picture of Anakin and Luke on Tatooine looking at the suns. A little? Okay. Well, let me actually see if it's... That's good enough. I think that's good now. Let me know if it needs to be quieter. But I think that should be okay. Dude, the game fucked me. Why is it not letting me do that little swirly blade attack? That's the second time I didn't do it. It's had no problem triggering midair before. Yeah, bro, it didn't do it again. What the fuck? <laughs> it didn't work all three times. Individual 4K Blu-ray le wait releases. I don't buy movies, but I saw these on discount. Besides RO, I only count George Lucas's movies. Fair enough, man. Yeah, seven, eight, and nine are horrible fucking fan fiction. That's what I consider it too. Bro, why is that attack not triggering? That's like the fourth time. What the fuck? That's a wrap. Dude, Disney ruined both of the uh, George Lucas franchises, which is an accomplishment, man. Honestly. Nobody thought Disney would find a way to fuck up Star Wars, but they did. So, credit where credit's due, man. Defying all odds. Disney. Yo, what the fuck? Why is it not doing the little spinny attack that it was doing last night? Unless they literally patched this shit today. Shit, the block ran out.
Dude, why do we have a fucking sniper? We don't need a fucking sniper. Activision is suing Anthony Fantano? Who is that? That name sounds familiar. Who is fucking Anthony Fantano? That name sounds really familiar. He reviews music. Oh, wait! That's the fucking, like, shaved head guy with the Harry Potter glasses, right? I think that's him. Right? He's the guy with the Harry Potter glasses and shaved head. Okay. What did he uh, do that Activision suing him over? Six grand? That's it. Seems kind of dumb to sue over. He wanted six grand to be in an ad. Yeah, I don't fucking know, dude. I have heard nothing about that. He tried to force Activision to pay money for a meme that everyone can use even though they took down the video about his meme. Oh, so he's being a copyright troll. Gotcha. Good. We need more people suing copyright trolls. I thought this shit was already settled. Like, TikTok owns everything you upload to their platform, funnily enough. That's the reason why you're able to use, like, so many, like, sounds and everything like that from, like, copyrighted music and shit. And you don't need permission, which is why TikTok is insanely good for advertising. Because you can use copyrighted content you wouldn't normally be able to. But because big companies want their shit on TikTok to spread popularity... You know, you're able to take advantage of that. He's a fucking dipshit for trying to copyright troll a major corporation because at the very least they can fucking bankrupt his ass in court just by suing him over and over and over and over again until he eventually runs out of fucking money. So it's kind of a dumb decision if you ask me.
What score are you predicting for Starfield game at launch? 82. I can already tell you what the headline's gonna be. It's gonna be something like, Starfield feels like Fallout in space, and that's not a bad thing. But it doesn't mix up Bethesda's traditional format in any meaningful way. That'll be like the takeaway. I have a feeling, but we'll see. But I would put my money on an 82 Metacritic as things stand right now. But I don't know. Maybe it'll be higher. It just depends on how broken the game is when it comes out. If the game is not just unfucking playable because of bugs, it'll be like maybe a uh, mid to high 80s, but I'm thinking 82. Because everybody's going to expect a higher quality standard. Because uh, Microsoft has said that they've been in more involved with the development, so... I think people are going to hold it to a higher standard when it comes to reviewing it, personally. But, I guess we shall see. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. I don't really have a huge interest in Starfield, but I don't know. I still hope it turns out good. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Can't force the breast mile dr oh, dr breast milk drinker, gotcha. Over at Activision into complying into your demands, can you? Not when they got more money. They'll just employ the, uh, who was it? I think it was JP Morgan's strategy of just suing somebody until they're bankrupt, even if they're in the right or not. It is a viable strat. But I think more than likely, Activision's probably in the right if they used a fucking meme. But, I don't know. I'd have to see the, like, the degree in which they quote-unquote stole his shit. Oops, I forgot the counter. It was just a sound bite? Uh oh. So literally they just used a sound bite? Oh, there's no way he's winning that. Yeah, sounds are literally public use on TikTok. You can use them for fucking anything. No, chat's still fucked up on YouTube's end. I don't understand what the fucking problem is. YouTube has broke their fucking live chat for some reason for the past like two weeks. They've, like, completely fucked up live chat for the past two weeks. I don't understand what's wrong. Oh, shit, dude. What the fuck? I thought I was blocking. Guess not. Come on, get out of there. Fuck. No. Fuck, dude.
Yep, Bungie sued some copyright troll who was, like, claiming videos in their name. Or I guess just claiming gameplay. So, yeah. I think he owed them, like, $10 million or some shit like that. Like, it was not a small amount of money. There we go. Ruined his life for the lol? That's right, dude. He, like, ruined his fucking life for maybe a couple hundred bucks in ad revenue. He's fucking stupid. But people think there's no fucking consequences anymore, so... That's the thing, is most people think they can just do whatever the fuck they want, because, oh, who's going to stop me? It's fucking retarded. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm not getting healed. No, I don't think console people would move to PC. I mean, maybe a small number of people, like maybe a million to two million, but... Like, no. I think most people who play on console don't give a fuck about PC. Most people who play on console are, like, extremely casual. Like, they just want to play, like, a couple games a year, and that's a... It's not worth it to them to spend, like, three grand on a computer. Or sit at a fucking desk. That's the other thing, too. A lot of people don't like gaming at a desk. Which, I don't blame him, honestly. Sitting at a desk gets kind of lame. Especially if you work at a desk all day. Holy fuck, dude. Damn, man. Yeah, the last place I want to be if I'm, like, unwinding from a day is sitting at the desk that I worked at all day. Like, that's not really a great way to relax, I feel like. They say never work in your bedroom because then you don't associate the room with rest, you associate it with work. So it's harder for you to fall asleep in there and relax. If that's where you like do your work and shit like that. You gotta change up your environment.
Yeah, I definitely get the mentality of like, oh shit. If I'm in this room, I should be working instead of like, uh, relaxing. That's how it was when I had my desk in my bedroom two apartments ago. So I used to sleep on my couch for like months at a time because it was way more relaxing than trying to get in my bed. Is Bitcoin mining even a fucking thing anymore, or is it pretty much just the Chinese that do that shit now? I wonder if it's even profitable at this point. I heard it's not, unless you have, like, just literally specifically built computers to do just that. I think it's pretty much close to break even, depending on what your electricity cost is for Bitcoin mining. But I don't partake, so I know nothing about it. NFTs technically exist, they're just not worth anything anymore. Does heroin make you tired or awake? I'm assuming awake because... You, no. It makes you tired. Most people pass out. Timothy Marco with a 5. It's very interesting to see devs rejecting traditional game outlets and marketing their games through YouTubers. City Skylines 2 is doing that. That's good. Yeah, I would stop giving IGN and shit like that any sort of influence because they're just a bunch of fucking political retards. Rick Rod with the five, two actors in Euphoria turned out to be major drug addicts. One of them just passed away today. You can't make this stuff up. What, did they use drugs in the show or some shit like that? So now they uh, carried their habits over from acting. My grandpa invests in saving the climate. Tell him to buy me a Tesla. Dude, we have four bots. Hell nah. I ain't doing that shit. Feeling lucky. 
is That one's cool. I don't have it yet though. Rip. I can't afford this shit. So this is what became Picatola Island. Oh shit, I almost have this. Nice. Oski Woski with the five just finished playing COD MW3 and Makarov's death is still satisfying to this day and that cigarette at the end so badass I'm gonna miss old COD yep they just like the campaigns don't have the same scope or excitement or you know set piece effects that they used to they're nowhere near as fucking memorable sucks like wet dick in a fucking Olive Garden parking lot Yo, Griff, if you get rich and your kids aren't idiots, can we marry our kids between them? Nope. Coming soon? What the fuck? They just got rid of it? What? Why did they just fucking remove that mode, bruh? That's dumb as hell, dude. What the fuck? Why did they literally just pull that mode in real time? That's fucking weird. I don't know, man. Some retarded ass shit. If you watch Violet Myers, I'll just go to sleep. I wish I could go to sleep and never wake up when I see Violet Myers. Chat died again. Yeah, dude, YouTube's been fucked up with this chat lately. I don't know what's going on with it. It's pretty bad. It happens like multiple fucking times a night. Like within out like an hour. Like it's pretty fucking shitty. I hope my kids plow through one of your daughters. Nope. Ain't gonna happen, bro. Kids are gonna be boss babes. They don't need no man. Griffin, you have to talk to girls to have a kid? Nah, -uh, bro. No, I don't, bro. It'll be like an anime, and girls will just throw themselves at me without me doing anything, and, you know, they'll all just want to have sex with me, and then I'll have, like, 800 kids with 100 different bitches. That's how real life works, guys.
moving slower than the enemy team. Follow the watch. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat. Summon raptors. Summoning to raptors. Timothy Marco the two, she's a ten but laughs like Titus. Oh god. Personality is important, man, and that's not a great uh personality trait. Titus is the blonde twink guy from fucking Final Fantasy X. I'm key with the 10. I would say sorry for doing this, but I'm not. She will be my future wife. Just watch. If Gr Wait, if not, Griffin is my plan B. Hopefully, Griff can't get pregnant wife. Bruh. English, motherfucker. Do you speak it? Like, what the fuck was that? But I'm key. You can do a lot better than Violet Myers, bro. Set your sights a little higher, my dude. Come on, have a like an ounce of self-respect. You could do so much better, my dude. She's the one, maybe that you jerk off to at night, but that's about it. Remember, I'm key. Whenever she cheats on you, she'll just say, what? I was just working. It was a private shoot. And then you'll be like, yes, dear. Oski Waski with the 10, 2X, him key, dog shit video no one wants to watch. Or wait, wants to see your bitch any more than we have to. Amen, bro. Real talk.
I'm key with the five, now slow it down to 0.25 speed. Uh, nope. So, because you only did half of the speed up, I'll reduce the speed up by half, which means it goes to 1.5. But no, I'm not slow motioning any video. If you want me to pass the fuck out on stream, then <laughs> that's it. But nah, I ain't doing that. I did a DSP. I didn't ask for him to uh... give me monies. That was all of his own volition. Osiwaski with the 20. Back to 2x. I'm not doing this with you, him key, because you broke. Uh oh. You're broke! You're fucking poor! Yikes. It is kind of true, man. I'm key. You got to get your money up, bro, so you can save uh, your girl Violet from a life of porn. You got to save her before she's irredeemable. The stench of another man's load will always be on her breath if you don't save her fast. about to say did we even get a dominator but yup there it is yo what the fuck we gotta try ceratops trash Dude, nobody else is on the point. We already lost. Because nobody was on the fucking point, bruh. Dog, I cannot carry this team on my fucking back like this. It's just sad. I tried so hard, guys.
Ooh, it's almost level 10. Let's go. And then I only have two more suits to get to level 10, and then I am done. So let's see, I'm key with the 10, nah, nice. <laughs> You really like your girl Violet, huh? God damn. I'm key, you need to save up your money so that you can like walk up to her, big dick slanging, big wallet pack, and be like, yo, I got you. You don't have to fucking do this shit no more. Gotta save your money for that, I'm key. Otherwise, she's gonna continue to like bounce on every dick except your own. <laughs> oh shit! Oski Woski with the twenty. Back to two X. Don't worry, Griffin. I got you. And chat. Gaming. Where is she from? Is she Arab or something? No, she's, uh, I think Mexican, right? I don't know. I halfway pay attention to those. I think she's from Mexico, but actually Californian. So I think her family is from Mexico. She was born in California and she talks like the average Californian. Like, oh my God, I love pizza, but only with cheese. Oh my god, porn is just a job, guys. It's just like going to work. My relationships are completely different from the guy's cocks that I suck on set, obviously. She's a Latina mommy? That's right, but good luck finding out who the father is. Bruh. key with the 10 i got y'all i know you guys love violet slow it down i'm key bro you should want less of us to love violet because then we're gonna compete with you dude remember you gotta save her from a life of porn it's not a cheap task Oski Woski with the 20. Notice how Heim or fuck him key. I always want to say Hyman. Because <laughs> he's a fucking pussy. But anyway, notice how him key only does about half because they know they're broke. Back to 2x. You're broke! You're fucking poor! Go get a job at fucking McDonald's, cause that's where you fucking belong! Coming in clutch.
Why are emotes so big? They changed the uh, size on mobile, which personally I like because you can actually see the emotes now properly. I like that they actually made like the emotes visible on mobile. Because before, you had to like fucking squint and pull out your magnifying glass to see that shit. I was noticing that the, uh, or no, last night when I was taking the dump and I was in the chat. That shit was nice. Yeah, big Apollo, man. He grew up. I liked it when it was smaller. <laughs> Brit, you're not a real woman, though. No girl has ever said that in her life. key with the t dog oh my god dude if you keep sending this you're gonna have like enough money that you would have had to book a private session with Violet okay this is actually my last one if Oski speeds it up again I guess he just hates women oh my god he's just like me I do too man women are the worst Bitch boys running away. Oh, today's the 31st, guys. We gotta do the DSP spiel. Remember, guys, this is the last day to uh, contribute to the positivity for this month. So if you wanna have a positive impact on the channel as soon as possible, a super chat is the best way to do so. I think DSP was bitching about that today with GTA, right? He was complaining that basically um, he was getting too many viewers and not enough donations. <laughs> Wait. Bruh. Oh shit, bro. FBI with the hundred. Bruh. Damn. Skip I'm Key's video and watch this instead. <laughs> hmm. I don't like to skip, man. I don't like to skip. But we can definitely watch the video in two exit. I don't do video skips. But we can definitely two exit and then watch whatever you want. No, I don't do video skips because I feel like, I mean, especially at this point, dude. Which uh, video did you send, FBI? I don't think it popped up. Okay. 
Okay. Let me uh, grab it. All right, man. We'll check it out. Appreciate it. Big ups. Perma Irreversible 2X. Yep. That shit's locked now. I really appreciate it, dude. Thanks so much. Haters gonna hate. That's right, I'm key. She's all yours, dude. I mean, you should feel happy. You have less competition for the woman of your dreams. Although, once she gets tired of you within a month, then maybe more of a nightmare, but. Dude, that's gotta be tough, though. Like. Just from a psychological uh, perspective, like on a real note, like basically think about it. You're a chick that literally gets paid thousands of dollars every time she has sex. How is someone like that ever going to change like their mentality to not associate that with like financial benefit? Like they're gonna get fucking bored of like a normal relationship very fucking quickly. Pretty sad, honestly. Like, that's gotta fuck up your mental state. Yep, Riley Reed got married and then divorced almost immediately after. Because can you imagine why? She got bored. But I mean, it's like, think about it, man. Sex literally just becomes like a fucking, you know, commodity. But then on top of it, it's like, you're like in the back of your mind thinking, oh, well, if I was having sex with someone else, I would have made five grand. <laughs> you know, you stop thinking about it the same way. It's like they say, never make your hobby your job because it feels like work. Well, same goes for sex, man. Don't make the most intimate, like most intimate act a human being can do your job. Otherwise, it doesn't feel like anything other than work. And therefore, you have no actual lasting bond with your significant other physically. Because that's what they say too: is like the couples that stick together the longest are the ones that have the most sex. So. Without, like, sex being your special connector with each other, that relationship's fucking doomed, bro. Bro, that dude has a ass load of health. Video where Riley is saying dad doesn't want to be seen with her. Dude, who would? 
like every single time you're out in public with your daughter, some weird guy is gonna come up and be like, oh my god, I'm a big fan, and everybody knows what the fuck they're a fan of. Like, it's disgusting. I mean, imagine your relationship, because you already know her dad has seen her fucking naked. Like, how weird is that, dude? That's not like a fucking normal thing. That's just creepy. I don't know, man. It just... It goes against nature. It goes against fucking nature. Like, no fucking grown man should have to watch their daughter get fucking railed on the internet. That shit's nasty. Oscar Rodriguez with the two, didn't me tagging you show up. Oh wait, did me tagging you show up in your notification? No. I don't think my notifications work the same way. YouTube probably filters the shit out of everything I get because I would have like a hundred notifications every minute from like comments and stuff like that. The only notifications I get are like from a couple of channels I have like notifications turned on for or like the odd comment on a video, but very rarely do those ever appear. But, like, that's the thing, is you couldn't have, like, your daughter around family gatherings because, like, it'd just be weird. I, I don't know, dude. That whole dynamic would be disgusting. Because, like, then you're fucking, you know, her nieces and nephews, if they're old enough to watch porn, then, you know, they've seen Aunt Riley naked and shit like that getting railed by five BBCs. Like, that's a fucking weird dynamic. Like... It's just so fucking bad, dude. It's a situation that no one should have to fucking be in. If you are like a complete degenerate that has no contact with their family, then fine. Go down that road, but don't act like you're going to ever have a normal life after going down that path. And most normal people are not going to want anything to do with you. And no matter how unfair you think that is, it's not. You made your decisions. Hey Aunt Riley, can you have sex with me? Here's a hundred dollars. Bruh. Oski Oski with the five, my dad always likes to remind us that if we either, choose either, either a career subscribe, he donate, doesn't like, he won't out. be mad. He would just be disappointed to look at us. That hurt. Exactly, man. Exactly. Disappointment, I feel, is a lot more hard-hitting than anger, 100%. Especially if you respect the person who's disappointed in you. Oscar Rodriguez with the tier one membership. Appreciate it, man. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Um, I'm waiting for the new season for COD. I've done everything.
So I'm waiting for, what is it, season six or five or whatever it is. Imagine if one day the daughter comes home and she's like, Daddy, I got a new job, and porn is the job. You know how fucked that will feel? Oh, dude. Yeah, no. I'd be pissed. But then, like, the dad would probably feel like, what the fuck did I do wrong? Did anyone tell you CoffeeZilla went after the Wolf of Wall Street? <laughs> oh no, dude. Is he really that fucking desperate to like just, I don't know, outrage farm? What did uh, old Jordan do to piss him off? Jordan Belfort is a fucking legend, bro. Peyton, because the man is winning. Dude, why is it always the uh, male characters in video games that get topless swimsuit skins? We need to get ones for the characters we actually care about. You can have titties in an M-rated game. Look at GTA, man. You can have cocks in a fucking M-rated game. Look at GTA again. Or fucking uh, Dante's Inferno. Or God of War, you can have big titties. You can have titties in an M-rated game. Dude, Cyberpunk really hyped up people on the cock size editor, and then they completely just, like, said, nah. New generation with the five react to. I don't know what the original video is. This is just Jordan's response. Gotcha. I don't know, man. Jordan's pretty based, so... Yeah, maybe I would have liked Cyberpunk if I could have lived out my dream penis in game, but nope. They didn't give me the chance. Summoning Tyrannodons. Summoning Raptors. 
Yeah, they really oversold, like, the whole sexual aspect of cyberpunk. Remember that shit? Like, in the advertising material for the game, they had, like, the, uh, massive fucking, like, cock. You all remember that shit? Like, in some of the concept art for the game, they had, like, the poster where people are like, Oh my god, it's transphobic! Because it was, like, a chick with a massive fucking, like, 18-inch cock. And it was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, they were really making it seem like this was going to be, like, sexual degeneracy of the game. And it doesn't even, like, really play any sort of fucking significant role in the overall story. They're tokenizing trans characters by making them sex signals. Like, oh my god. And then in the same breath, I'm sure the same people complain that men don't find trans women attractive. So they're mad that we're not sexualizing trans women, and then they're upset that they are sexualizing trans women. <laughs> this whole fucking trans shit is a no-win situation, dude. It is a fucking no-win situation for everyone involved. There are no winners when it comes to being trans. The people who think it's gonna solve all of their problems immediately by transitioning turns out to be fucking false. It's just like, no one's ever happy, it seems like. It's just a massive fucking nightmare. New Generation of the Five, here's the video that had Jordan respond, but it's long. Do you want me to watch that instead? How long is long? What the fuck? Why won't it let me click? There we go. Oh, 45 minutes. Damn, bro. I mean, I guess... Hmm, put it on 2x maybe. Oscar Rodriguez with the two type silent park Griffin gaming to find my video. Okay. Can definitely do that. Yeah, I've tried the melatonin gummies. I have some. They're like blue raspberry flavored, and then I have the uh, NyQuil as well. They don't really work for me. Like, my brain's just way too fucking, like, hyperactive. I don't know. When I try to go to sleep, man, that's when my mind starts fucking racing and shit. I'm like, oh my god, bro, I gotta start thinking about the meaning of life. No, no sugarless gummy bears. They don't sell them. 
Like, they're on Amazon for like a hundred bucks, but I ain't paying that. Like, that's ridiculous for fucking gummy bears. Like, hell no. If they were like 20 or 30, I'd probably grab them, but... hundred bucks. Dude, I also have a really bad habit of watching, like, YouTube videos before bed, too, so there's also that. I have on blue light glasses right now. My, uh, gunners, bro. I don't even have a donation goal to put them on, I just wear them, because they do actually kind of help. They make my eyes feel less, like, fucking fried, which is nice. But I don't really know if they help me uh, go to sleep or not. Why do I always stop playing Mass Effect when I get to 3? I don't know, maybe you don't have a uh, good taste in video games, man. Because that's literally the best one. I don't know what to tell you. Bruh, I need healing! Uh, I just got like some random fucking, uh, pair on Amazon that was on sale for 15 bucks on for like one of their flash sales. They're actually kind of ugly, and I look like a San Francisco hipster wearing them, but... Yeah. They do the job, man. Honestly, I don't care. I don't wear them outside of the house, so... Who's gonna fucking say shit? Like, are the fucking goblins in my apartment gonna be like, Oh my god, you look like a fucking fanook, bro. Kill yourself. Maybe. But... I'm sorry, man. The bad bitches that I don't talk to anyway will never see me like this. So... No big deal. Shit. is this shit? Oh. oh my god, bro. My avatar cards of shit. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude.
Has anyone listened to Travis Scott's new album? I know Griffin did. Nah, bro. I never did. I'm an Xbox? No, I'm not, dude. I don't even like Xbox. Xbox is for fucking Fruit Loops, bro. It's for fucking fruits. I don't know why the fuck they took that away, dude. That's so dumb. Oh god, swear spark with the one. You're broke! You're fucking poor! Uh, if you can sell your hair for 300 bucks, I would sell your hair. Like, what the fuck? Dude, if I got paid to get a fucking haircut, I would 100% do that. Why would you not get paid for a haircut? Like, the fuck? Blue's 18 with the one. Oh, God. You're broke! You're fucking poor! No! I'm a soy fanboy who thinks the PS5 is stronger than a 4090. Well, obviously, man. Duh. Has an SSD in it. Mike TUGC with the one. Oh, God, bro. You're broke! You're fucking poor! So you got buzz cut? No, I don't. I need to get a haircut. My hair is way too long. I got to get like an inch off the top and then, you know. A fade on the back and the sides, bro. Because, you know, I'm just so trendy. But, yeah. I got to get my hair whacked at some point. I just never get around to it because it's like once I'm done working, I typically take my dog for a walk. So, by the time I get back from the walk, the places are all closed. My hair is mad fucking soft right now, though. Griffin's gonna get that Oliver Tree bowl cut. I know what a bowl cut is, but I don't know who the fuck Oliver Tree is. I don't think I could get a bowl cut. I don't think my hair is long enough on the sides. So I don't think I actually could get a bowl cut. Even if I wanted one. Mainly just the hair on like the top of my head that's too long right now. It's like just getting into my eyes, so. Olive Garden bathroom bowl cut? Oh, let's go, dude. Just put the salad bowl on my head. Let's go, man.
Who is Oliver Tree? Is he like a fucking uh, actor or some shit? Singer? Oh god. Is he one of those weird, like, alternative types? I'll look him up if I uh, get a break, but I can't right now. I thought someone says Olivia Rodriguez. No. Oliver Tree. I don't know. I've never heard of him before. Brett with the two played Carrie Diamond. This is low tier guy. With the BBC. Yeah, I'll pull it up after this uh, match. Genesis King revived with the two. Did you hear about the Oblivion remake rumor? Is it that Skyrim mod or is it an actual remake? Because I know somebody is like remaking the game in Skyrim. So is it just that or is it like a genuine remake? And Drufus with the one. You're wrong! You're fucking poor! Swear Spark with the two. Thoughts on Savage Gone. I actually liked it, but they got rid of it. <laughs> they literally removed it, like, after I played two or three matches of it tonight. So. It's an actual remaster? Interesting, man. That'd be cool. I would 100% be down for that. It's being made by the dev team that is making the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. 
That's interesting. So it's not going to be in Creation Engine? All right, that sounds a little unbelievable in all honesty. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would believe that. So they're going to remake Oblivion in non-Creation Engine? That doesn't sound realistic, man. I don't know. I wouldn't put too much weight behind that. Who is the uh, rumor coming from? That seems a little unbelievable, if I'm being honest. Like, I could see it being remade internally in Bethesda. Like, with the creation engine, or maybe a different engine, but for them to, like, use a different engine and a different outsourced studio that's not even owned by Microsoft, that seems very odd. Yeah, that's what I mean. I feel like Bethesda would want hands with that. I don't know. I don't, like, see them outsourcing it to that degree. That's kind of where I would be suspicious, personally. Like, why wouldn't they have enough dev teams internally to just make it? That doesn't seem realistic. He's dead. He did the same thing that I did. Countlessly. Where's their dominator? bitches I need healing fuck dude I'm carrying these tards right now Oski Woski with the five I love it when Griffin says I wish we can all live in a world where there's no exclusives and we can all hold hands and sing kumbaya classic Griffin that's right man believe it or not it would be nice because then you could just buy one console and you'd be done but you know apparently my competition is good right even though exclusives are literally the definition of non-competition. In fact, you could say that Nintendo has a monopoly on Nintendo games, but don't tell the uh, quote-unquote pro-consumers that one. 
the Redditors don't like logic. Holy shit, dude. Can I get some heals? Damn. Yeah, exactly, dude. I wish Halo was on PlayStation. That shit would be cool. It would help save the game, too. <laughs> they need to put Halo Infinite on PlayStation. Maybe that would uh, help revive the player base a little bit. Griffin, what are your thoughts on the death of Pee Wee Herman? I don't know who Pee Wee Herman is, so I couldn't tell you. A pedo? Really? So he's just a legit pedo or some shit? Damn, man. If that's true, then good riddance. not let this dude near my kids Money is to be made and spent. what in the actual me fuck bro Bend me over and stroke my BBC. play the fucking set get that ass man. visualize me in a bed nigga visualize me in a bed dog what in the actual fuck that is nasty I represent new age be gone Oh my god. Please go jack off. How are you, fat man in my phone? Bro looks like a creep. Uh that's putting it lightly, man. That shit is weird. Uh, he's just actually alternative and quirky, guys. He's a really talented musician, I'm sure. How is that dude even, like, is his music actually decent or is it just like absolute trash? Wait, who am I joking? It's probably absolute trash. It's probably like that genre of music where it's really shitty, but people pretend like they like it to be like unique. Is that what it is? Don't criticize what I'm doing on the screen. 
It's like people just looking to be, you know, edgy and like not like the traditional shit. How are you, fat man in my phone? You play Rainbow Six Siege all day when I'm home. TikTok music? That's all I need to know. It appeals to lonely women who spend too much time on their phones. Bruh. Real talk. I know there's going to be a lot of people out there calling me a bully. Well, guess what? I'm not. I just don't feel sorry for fat fucking people. Especially fat fucks who sit there all day, gorge and eat, and make money for doing absolutely nothing. Yo, that's me. Fucks like yourself play into it. You don't like what the fuck I'm saying? Then fuck you. Based low tier god. I love how low tier god just completely blew Welcome off the SP as like pathetic attempts to start drama. He wasn't even like gonna partake in that shit because he knew Phil was just using him for the drop of clout. Yeah, Boogie gets a W for me, though, like 100% now, because he uh, bagged the 20-year-old chick. That's a dub, man. Good for him. That'll 100% put him in a better headspace, dude. He may even start, like, losing weight and shit. came out with the new video saying he broke up with her? Really? Did he actually or is he just clickbaiting? Didn't watch it? I mean, we can check that out if you want. Let's see what's going on with Boogie's love life. since I don't have my own to worry about. Dude, what guy at age 50 doesn't want to date a chick half his age? Like, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. When you're 50 years old, 25 year old women are not gonna be unattractive to you. Hate to break it to you, but all these 50 year old guys and girls that are bitching about boogie dating a fucking 25 year old or a 20 year old, whatever, or probably watching porn with 20 year olds in it every single night, vapidly jerking off or fingering their clit. Like, so it's just really fucking pathetic. They're just mad cause bad, bro. 
They're mad Boogie's living his best life and they're fucking sad, lonely, and just jerking off or, you know, finger blasting themselves in a dark room with no one but their own fucking cats to keep them company. Boogie's a fat fucking loser, but he could get better. I mean, it's not going to be like an immediate transformation. And the other thing is, too, is there's a bunch of single 30-something-year-old women, too, that are upset that uh, Boogie is dating someone younger than him and younger than them versus, you know, going for somebody in their fucking 30s or 40s. Like the old uh, fucking wine mom, or not wine moms, what was it, wine ants and cat moms? That's it. That's what I was thinking of. You know, the woman that don't need no man, but is always fucking depressed and lonely because she doesn't have one. What the fuck is this video? It's fake. That's gotta be fake, bro. He's like tarred raging in a fucking YouTube video. I, I think that's fucking fake, man. I think he's just clickbaiting. Because everybody wants him to break up with her, so, you know, he'll get views if he puts that. Which is smart, in my opinion. I'd do the same thing. Yeah, I was about to say, bro, if Boogie's dumb enough to leave a chick that is 20 years old and is actually somewhat attractive, then there ain't no saving him. But I don't think any straight man would leave in that situation, as long as she's not bad shit crazy. But, yeah. Like, dude, no 50-year-old guy is actually going to leave a somewhat attractive 20-year-old chick that's not crazy. Ain't no fucking way. As long as her personality ain't shit, he's gonna stick around.
Oh shit. This fucking boss fight is so easy as a DPS, bro. Like, if you actually have people that know how to fucking deal damage in this game, dealing damage to the boss, it makes it a million times easier. Not to suck my own dick or anything. I'm not gonna fall for it, guys. I ain't gonna do it. Oh, shit. Alright, I so. I thought I waited long enough. I guess not. If I was 50, I would love to be with the 25. Exactly, man. Especially if she's attractive and has a good personality. Like, fuck. That's a no-brainer. Because, like, at that point, you could still have kids if you never had them. Um, you know, you're probably going to be in a lot better mood for obvious reasons. I mean, obviously, a 25-year-old is going to hit different than a fucking 50-year-old chick, but yeah. Oh, fuck, dude. I got stun locked on the fucking floor. Easy clap, dude. Juan, don't scam or don't spam, or else I'm gonna have to take away the mod. No spamming. Damn, bro, I was fucking robbed. I definitely dealt more damage. Like, come on, obviously.
Juan with the two, my bad. Griffin, I'm hammered, lol. I figured. It's all good, man. You fucking cuck! I know that's one of your favorite words, you right-wing asshole! Say- Come on, cuck! Ask real fucking questions, cuck! And don't be a fucking pussy, because you're a bigoted asshole, too! I Fuck think you! <laughs> Bruh. Griffin, I'm hammered, too. Mmm, I don't believe so. What time is it over in, uh, kangaroo land right now? What time is it in kangaroo land? Let's see how, uh, accurate that is. In Sydney, Australia. 2.27? It ain't 5 o'clock yet, man. I don't believe you. Sounds like cap to me. Timothy Marco with the two love RTU's passion during that meltdown. Yeah, I wonder if that. Well, it probably is just him, but to what extent I wonder is it like the actual like you know weed and shit that he consumes? Cause there's gotta be like some effect with him like popping edibles 24 fucking 7 has on his mental state, right? Is that like a crazy idea? I don't think so. Yeah, it's like 12.30 in New York right now, so you could definitely be, uh, hammered. Especially if you're living that invest or investment banker lifestyle, you know? You work till fucking 8 p.m., go get lunch with your, uh, my wife or colleagues, and then get fucking hammered, and then wake up at 6 a.m. and do it the next day, because those motherfuckers can literally just go, go, go. Dude, honestly, I would love to work in investment, uh, investment banking. A work wife? Maybe. That'd be the most convenient. I would honestly probably thrive in the, like, the investment banking world just because I'm willing to work, like, 16 hours a day. That shit wouldn't bother me. A lot of people can't fucking do that shit. I just don't want to live in New York. Why did I say I would beat up a monkey? Because those little fucking monkeys in like Asia that steal your shit. Like, if one of those little monkeys, like, ran up to me and tried to snatch my stuff, I'd fucking snap its neck, man. Real talk. Those little monkeys are, like, fucking menaces. There's, like, countless videos on the internet of, like, them running up to, like, tourists and snatching their phones, wallets, purses, backpacks, food, water, you name it. Jewelry, like, those little motherfuckers are, like, awful. They are absolute menaces, and like, I guess like Southeast Asia is where you find them? But, I don't know, dude. If I ever saw one of those monkeys trying to steal my shit, ain't no way. That's the thing, is a lot of people think like those little monkeys are cute and everything, but those things are fucking mean, man. There's nothing nice about like wild, uh, wild animals in general, but, like, those wild, like, monkeys and stuff, like, they're, they're mean. They're, like, vicious. I've seen them, there's, like, videos of them, like, fucking attacking people and shit, too, like. Juan with the two, uh, F them macaws. Oh, yeah, that's what they're called, macaws, right? I don't fucking know. 
I'm not a professional fucking monkey identifier, but I think that does sound right. The Macaw monkeys. But yeah, they're little fuckers, dude. Bung holes are worse. Like DSP. Oh, fuck you, motherfucker! Would I fight a gorilla, no guns? Hell no. Dude, gorillas are like 500 pounds of pure fucking muscle. You would get your ass ripped in half. A gorilla would fuck you up, dude. Ain't no way. But Griffin, we're practically monkeys too. I don't know, man. I don't know about that one. Tarzan fought a gorilla? Well, not everyone can be Tarzan, bro. Come on. Stop setting unrealistic body standards for men. That's harmful. Not everyone can be ripped like a literal fucking gorilla. Yeah, didn't Tarzan get, like, some bad bitch in his, like, storyline? So, yeah, I'm jealous of Tarzan, too. Fight a gorilla, DSP, or RTU for a million after taxes? I'd fight DSP for a million. Easy. Oh my god. DSP is the same height as me, apparently. He claims to be 5'11, so. He weighs more, but he could probably lose weight. Yeah, even if I was six foot, I'd still be 5'12", man. I guarantee you, dude. I bet, like, I wish somebody would test this shit. I guarantee you if somebody did, like, one of those stupid fucking Instagram prank videos where they went and talked to, like, these dumb bitches and be like, would you date a guy that's six foot? And they'd be like, yeah. And then be like, what about a guy that's 5'12"? They'd probably be like, no way. I guarantee you they would fucking do that shit. That would be a great fucking uh, like interview video or some shit on Instagram. That shit would be fucking hilarious.
Well, that was quick. I think I can call it in now. Already August 1st? Dude, July went by very quickly in all honesty. Though, with the 20, hi Griff, as someone who worked 16 hour days for three years before applying for my masters, I can tell you that seeing six figures at the end of each year gets old. Maybe if it became seven figures, I'd keep doing it. Well, yeah, in investment banking, that's the end goal. Like, you can easily hit million-dollar performance bonuses. You just have to grind it out your first couple years. Which, I mean, you're still making, like, two to 300000 a year, which, I mean, that's not pennies. But I guess it really just depends on if you enjoy the type of work you're doing for 16 hours a day. Like, money management shit, I think I would really enjoy personally, so I wouldn't mind doing it 16 hours a day. Or, like, investing and shit like that. So I don't think it would really feel like a huge task, if you know what I mean. But yeah, it really just depends on what you're doing, I guess what the end goal is, and how much money you're actually making. And also your personality type too. Because I'm like somebody who like, I guess thrives when I'm busy. So I feel like I would actually enjoy it. But I guess like the big thing is whatever it is you're doing would be the uh, determining factor. Brit with the one. Ew, get that big black pussy off my screen. You're broke! You're fucking four! Oh, that was easy. You completed all objectives before the enemy team. Your team is victorious. Repeat, you are victorious. Dog, are you fucking shitting me? Oh my god, dude. They will literally give fucking MVP to everyone except me. I literally one clapped the fucking Dominator. I killed all of them as the Dominator, which allowed us to win, and I was standing on the point for the majority of the fucking game. How the fuck do I not get MVP from that? Dog, this shit is rigged. Absolutely fucking rigged. You know what, bro? This is like some actual fucking discrimination taking place here. I'm gonna fucking sue. My rights have been infringed upon, guys. 
Oh, it's not fun being discriminated against actively. I'll tell you that. Maybe if your character was... Dude, he's literally wearing a swimsuit. Of course he's gay. How does it get any gayer than that? I guess if it was a speedo, but that's not in the game, unfortunately. Yeah, chat's having issues tonight. Once again, YouTube just is determined to destroy live stream chats. One with the two synthetic man vibes. Uh-oh. Let me see what this is. Can I move my mouse? No. Alright, never mind. <laughs> I'll check it in a second. Resistance 2, you may have resisted the aliens the first time, but... Dude, that does kind of sound like Synthetic Man with just a little bit more of, like, an autistic uh, tang to his voice. Like, take Synthetic Man and add a little bit of autism, and that's what that just sounded like. <laughs> I didn't even watch the full video, and it kind of sounds like him. But yeah, I can hear the resemblance. Nah, I don't think Synthetic Man is autistic, bro. He's got he's too well like uh spoken, I guess. He doesn't have like that weird timidness that a lot of like autistic people have where it's like they have trouble communicating what they actually mean to say. Like he's pretty, pretty well, um, well spoken when it comes to like actually conveying his message. He's not like struggling to get his point across. I mean, if you want to count retarded as autistic, then sure, Vosh is probably autistic. Oscar Rodriguez with the two, how do autistics overcome their condition? They have to practice. I mean, it's like, how do you get good at anything else? Like, if they're not uh, well-versed at communicating and aren't very socially aware, well, you got to put yourself in more social situations in order to get better at communicating. So, you just have to learn to, like, live with it. And instead of, like, doing that, a lot of parents just give their kids fucking pills thinking it's going to fix all their problems and it actually makes it worse. You got to step outside of your comfort zone, like with anything, if you want to get better at it. Otherwise, you'll never improve. Like one day, I will actually have to speak to women, but that day is not today.
Yeah, man, whenever I see a girl, I immediately get nervous and start sweating profusely and go, Oh my god, I think I'm gonna throw up! Dude, girls are scary. One with the one. You're broke! You're fucking poor! Apollo's over there whimpering on the ground like a dumbass in his sleep. Like. Imagine dreaming, bro. L. I feel like they make him the big dino. Wait, I feel like they make the big dinos easier if you're behind. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Did you see that clip of a host in Street Fighter 6 forgot to remove his nude? Great. Wait, hold on. That actually fucking happened? Or is that like some sort of fucking meme? Like in an official tournament, some guy forgot to remove his fucking nude mods? Oh. <laughs> That's fucking weak, bro. Oh my god. Man was caught lacking beyond anyone's imagination. Jesus. I don't know if he'll be asked to host another event, man. Damn. 
Yeah, bro, I'm gonna need them. I'm gonna need them mods real quick, so. Dude, my team really didn't catch up in all that time. Are you fucking shitting me? I literally squad wiped those tards. Damn, bro. We can't have shit in Detroit. Shit. Yeah, dude, you shouldn't try to revive me. You should just let me die and then I come back with one. No. One with the two. Dare I say it? Whoa! Welcome to the real world.
86. Holy fuck, dude. So close. Alright, let's close out of this. Top. All right. Let's see. So I guess first up. So sorry to the internet. Oh God. Thank God we're doing this at two X. So sorry to the internet. Me too. I'm sorry you guys have to witness this. Oh my god, ew. She's at Anime Expo or whatever the fuck. She's out recruiting new OnlyFans subs. So sorry to the internet. You guys rank my anime tier list. Have you seen one episode of it? You watch Black Clover? Yeah. This right here should be just one of stupid. Oh, no, no, this is Alright guys, we're here at Anime Expo, and as you can see right here, I have a real live tier list. I'm gonna be starting twice today at Anime Expo. I wanna see what's the best shonen, in my opinion, I don't know, because my opinion doesn't matter, but for these people in the comments and in Anime Expo, it does matter. Let's go inside, let's start an anime war, and hopefully we can get, you know, at least one of my favorites. Whoa, Whoa dude, I wish I was there. Today, she's gonna actually be helping me. But look at the little jeans on my back. I actually wanna give credit to where the credit's due. Well, his YouTube name right here, and the original video in the description. I just wanna give him credit because this is not my idea. So basically, you're gonna have to choose one anime, either choose one or move the placement of it. We're gonna start with Cam. She's gonna choose the first one. Whether you watch it or not, you have to rank it on S tier to F tier. I'm gonna get canceled. So bad. No, Ooh, wait. She got Death Note. We're gonna place Death Note in the tier list. I like it. Can I do it in the middle of A and D? I have no opinion. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. That's not a bad start. That's not a bad start. All right, next person. You can either move this at a different tier, or you can grab a new anime and place it somewhere else. I'm like, can't live with this. Let, let, the, let the comments remember this. The viewers remember that. Oh, he got Code Geass. Okay, this is like one of my top ten animes. D. D tier. I watched 10 episodes, but it was really good. Like, S tier, yay! I feel like Code Geass belongs in S tier. Soup! But we'll see, because you know, some people might not agree with us. It's CCS, bro, that's S tier alone. Let's go inside the convention. Let's get other people's opinions. Do you want to choose another anime and rank it, or do you want to rank this anime and move it around? Ooh. Chainsaw Man? Where do you place Chainsaw Man? I haven't seen it yet. So. F. I'll give it, I'll give it an A. That's, that's actually pretty good. Just the name is fucking retarded. Chainsaw Man? Put that shit in the F tier, bro. He's gonna choose a random. This is one of my favorites right here. Have you watched Brotherhood? I watched both. Uh, Richard, the first season and the second. Thank you. Yay! Okay, I'm happy. We got some good- Of course, dude. She goes, oh my god, that's my favorite. And then you got fucking Kim Jong-un's fucking gayer brother over here. Like, oh yeah, dude. I'm gonna fucking smash. I'm gonna give it an S tier. Oh my god. Brit with the two two X speed covers up their Cali accent. It, yeah, it does. One hundred percent. The board is looking pretty good. I'm gonna grab a new anime right okay. My stand is here. Okay. Can I just any of them? Okay. Can I get one? Ooh, Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. Okay. Wait, where are we ranking Cowboy Bebop? Okay, I'm just thinking in retrospect of every anime out there. E. Oh, yes. I'm gonna be honest. Cowboy Bebop's not an S. Especially after that live action. Are we bring that into play? No, no, just anime. Just anime. Just I think anime. I'm gonna go with B. I think B. Okay. Who's next? Who wants to rank? Come here. Oh, oh my God. I'm biased. I'm biased. Yeah. I have no choice. I have no choice. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, no, you did not just say that! Based! <laughs> he put F tier, this is like one of my top 10 favorite shonen animes. I don't like shonen. This right here should be just Konosuba, it's the most basic. Oh, I love Konosuba, but that's an isekai. It's better than all that. Black Clover. Ooh, Black Clover. I read the manga, so okay. not bad. We love a manga reader, okay. Oh, he's ready, look at him, he's ready to move it. Move the placement of an anime or choose a new anime. Give me. Let's see, let's see. Show me the magic! Let me put you one punch mat. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my god, he's scared of respect! I like Mopsycle. One Punch Man is like C tier at best. More, but thank you. Love and Deadly Sin. I love this anime. I'll be honest, I've never watched this. I'm like, I love this show, I did, but I want to move it. Oh, C? I felt, no, I felt like after the second half, it kind of went down. I want to move one. Okay, move one. Yeah. Dude, the second half ruined it. There we go. Yeah, this is so good. I got a shimmy gummy on my chest, you know? Oh, like, it's good. Okay, okay. All right, do you want to move on? Yeah, this one. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, this one's there. Yeah, please. Come on. Yeah, I believe this is the S tier shonen. Damn, this is getting intense, honestly. We're just having everyone's reaction. Everyone's getting a reaction right now. Rank my anime. Is my tier list good? It is one of the goats. Everyone's looking at my tier list like, uh uh uh. You guys, rank my anime tier list. Wait, wait, where's Black Clover going? Yes! I'm gonna put it as, but it's not my opinion. This is not my opinion. Uh, seven deadly sins. should be a D. Right. Uh, Why a D? Like the manga was okay, but the anime. Yeah, the anime has a bad reputation. All right, let's see what this is. Hunter, Hunter. You know what? I'm gonna put this in B. I haven't seen it, but I have seen you in the show. And I respect. Dude, Hunter and Hunter, whatever the fuck it's called, is retarded. 
One of my friends was like, bro, it's literally a better Naruto. I watched like five episodes. That shit was ass. Straight to the F tier. Oh gosh, I've heard that, this, that it's pretty good. I plan on watching it someday. Honestly, if it was up to me, I would move Cowboy Bebop to like A. I would move Death Note to B. And then I would move Black Clover to A. So that would be my tier list right now, but it's subject to change right now. Come over here. I see you looking at my list. What do you think? Okay. Can you guys rank my tier list? This? Yeah. Yeah. You could change it. Oh my god! No one is gonna fight me for that. Black Clover? Have you seen one episode of it? You watch Black Clover? Yeah. If you want someone to fight you, just put Hunter Hunter at the bottom. Oh man. He's starting a real anime war right now. Choose one or get a new one. So you can either move the placement of an anime to where you think it goes or choose a new anime and rank it. I don't know why that's not the best. War. No! Where are you gonna put. No. Wait, why are you putting Chainsaw Man? I mean, it's okay. Like, There's only 12 episodes, but the manga is fire. The Dude, Chainsaw Man deserves to be F for the name fucking alone. How fucking retarded. I mean, I can barely see the image, but is it like literally a dude with fucking chainsaw hands? They're gonna roast everyone right now. Is that seriously the fucking plot of the show? There's a dude with fucking chainsaw hands? Taylor Moon. Sorry, this is too nostalgic. Naruto! Okay, where are we placing Naruto? F! Put that shit in F, bro. Okay. Um, are we gonna have to go with A in my opinion? That's not bad. Yeah. It was not too bad. Nostalgia. Dude, Naruto belongs in F tier. They did that ending so fucking bad. I feel like, as especially when you grow up watching Naruto, you basically grow up with Naruto. Thank you. I see you guys. Yes, judging. I made the mistake of growing up with Naruto, and they absolutely fucking ruined it. My tier list. Yeah, yeah, we we noticed, no. I grew up on Naruto. We noticed Naruto was A tier. I know the majority of fans don't, don't agree. So where, are you, where are you gonna put it? Look, I, look, out of respect for all the haters, and I have a bias towards Naruto, I'm gonna need to be. I'm sorry, guys. Yikes, okay. Hey, hey, hey. We got Psycho, we got Psycho. Where are we placing? This is my top five. Where are you placing it? You can move one. I think it's a today. I think it's a today. Yeah. Good. I will give it S. This is an S tier cosplay, by the way. Chainsaw Man and F. Horrible take. I can respect it being So that's the yeah. Chainsaw Man. He has a fucking chainsaw helmet. Oh my god. No, it should be like above B. Like, oh my god, man. Just gonna put that. Put a? Oh, oh Promise Neverland. Okay. okay, I gotta put it at like C. It has a whole is like C, but like if it's just like season one, it's like A or B. Okay, so I saw you guys looking at it. Would you want to choose a new anime or move the placement of the ring? Bleach. Okay. Ooh, where are we putting Bleach? You can also move the placement of one too if you want. A tier. Ooh, that hurt, that hurt. What? Based. Yeah, I, I gotta replace it, replace it with this. No! 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 Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. Oh, no! That's not where it belongs. I'm gonna put that right back up here. My armpits are sweaty right now, you guys. No! No, 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 no. Overrated? Overrated, I'm sorry. Bro, I'm sorry. To me, I would always be S tier. I don't care. A lot of these animes copied Naruto. What are you talking about? Let's go to the Black Clover section. Let's, let's go annoy some Black Clover fans. <laughs> You're Black Clover cosplay. What do you think of the tier list? Uh, the tier list? It seems to be like up here. You can move it, you can move it. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. I haven't seen this. I'm sorry. I told my friend that I'll watch it soon, but for now, I'll have it here. Do you want to choose a new anime or do you want to move? Oh, yeah, let's do a new one. Let's do a new one. Oh, this is like a good one. Who's, who's going to be? Okay, this one's for sure top tier. I'm so sorry. This is just the only one I don't know. Okay, but Attack on Titan's going. Okay, well, I feel like that can go here. Okay. Attack on Titan is top tier, though, so. Okay, I, I like it, but I, I would give it an A just because like, I don't like the chapters. That's it, but I love this anime, though. Gintama! I haven't seen it, but I heard it's really good. Have you watched Gintama? Yeah, Gintama means too early to be A tier. It's gonna be good, manga wise, but. Okay, I'm solid with that. Thank you. you wanna move on or choose one? Okay, 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 move on. Dog, what the okay. fuck? This is cool, this is cool. One word. Manga. Ah, we're gonna add some stuff. We're not gonna like actually tear it. This is just to start a little bit of drama in anime. One piece, don't kill me guys, please. Oh, I'm going for it. Dude, put one piece in F. <laughs> no! Yes, yes. No, that's not Michael. I wanna move. Here you go. Here you go. This one needs to go like, I'll give it a C. Okay, okay. Bro, Death Note deserves a fucking F for how much they ruined that show. The first 25 episodes of Death Note are, like, literally top-tier fucking media in general. And then they completely fucking ruin it. Okay, okay. Let the hate flow through you, bro. Uh, I'll put TK. I'll put TK. Yeah, okay. Sorry. All right. <laughs> like, bro, that one scene where he gets that dumb bitch to fucking hand over her driver's license and then has her kill herself. Like, that is one of the best fucking scenes in any TV show or movie ever. And literally... They just completely ditched that entire tone for the series. And then the last 12 episodes basically ruins the entire fucking show. It's sad. Oh, I really? She, look what she put, Demon Slayer, bro. What? All right, there's a lot of people are going to find us. This, oh, this is disrespect. I love Hunter Hunter. Oh, okay, okay. okay. But One Piece is the best piece of fiction ever. It's too long. It's not too long. When you watch One Piece, you'll wish it was longer. Can I offer you one piece of advice? One piece of advice, okay. Yeah, I bet when you see his dick, too, you wish it was longer. <laughs> I forgot the joke, I forgot the joke.
gonna I'm gonna move in, so I'm gonna ask here. Oh, yeah, and I'm replacing this trash of a series all the way in A tier. What's that trash in A? Oh yeah, that's true, but in my opinion, it's trash, but Kintama's better. Okay, okay, thank you. We're here at the main exhibit hall now. Three more enemies to go to get the tier, so let's go. I'm putting five enemies at the top, because I'm playing five enemies, yo. I'm gonna move Vinland Saga, I keep friendly, yo. Yeah, it's about to keep friendly enemy up here. I don't know, it's a good trash, so good. Mod Psycho, Jojo, Hunter, Hunter. Wait, I think Shibuden has to be S. There's no way. Or I have to move it up. Oh, my name, my name, okay, okay, okay. Naruto is S tier? Maybe if you're fucking mentally challenged. I like Intama, but it's funny, but I don't get the jokes. I'll put it in D because I'll be up there. Okay, okay, I'm getting some stairs right now. What do you guys think of my tier list? Oh, you gotta move it with oh, another. I, see. I haven't seen JoJo, so you can go back down here. Do you wanna move on? Yeah. Where are we moving? Naruto? No way. I just wanna make a match. <laughs> yes. I feel like I'm gonna get further. You go there. That's a hot take. That's a hot take. But Sailor Moon is a classic and it's amazing and it lets you guys love genre of so many other animes. I feel rightfully so belongs in S here. Okay, thank you. We're moving Avon Galleon. Ooh, okay, all right. What are you gonna move it? Promise Neverland. Season two was absolutely terrible. This is what the whole expo has so far. So you're, you're free to move whatever you want at this point. I only get one? Yeah, you can only move. I already know, I already know what I'm about to do. Let's go. 100. This one should gonna move it with one of these, though. What? I have to? Yeah. Okay, I, this is only because I haven't seen it. I'm so sorry to the internet. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 there's a lot of death note fans here. Come on now. That's kind of valid, except the live action. I feel like that was one of them that got me hooked. I would like start someone on death note. But my family, I can't believe you just disrespect me. Okay, so we're back home. I corrected my tier list. I want to be I want to be very blunt with you guys. A lot of these I haven't really watched completely, so that's why they're so low. But once I watch them, I'll definitely get back to this tier list maybe and then uh, rearrange it. But let's start with the F. Obviously, Yo, we all know Sword Art Online is F based. The sword art online is not really the best isekai and after first season i think a lot of us clocked out so that's why it's there and then e tier list because you know promise neverland could really had a promising chance for us to be up there but you know what the hell was season two i'm gonna have to put e just because of the my real what fans. the fuck is promised neverland uh, they're kind of cringe that's just my bias d gintama i haven't watched it i never fully finished fairy tale kakaguri it's okay i like it dude fairy tale is absolute fucking horse shit but it's not the best compared to these other ones. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, I'm sorry, Dragon Ball Z fans, but there's too many spin-offs for me to really get into it like that. Um, you know, there's one piece that I can watch instead. Bleach, you know, I heard the manga was better. And Inu, how do you say, Inu Yashua? Inu Yashua? See, I haven't watched it, but Demon Slayer C, just because it's like, you know, it's not the top tier, but I do love Demon Slayer. I do love it, but it's a C for me. Spy Family, it's still really, really new. Sailor Moon, I love it, but too many spin-offs, but I, I think it's a classic. I'm not gonna disrespect it. Yu Gi Oh! It's a classic. I grew up watching it, but mm, it's not like my favorite. I wouldn't put it like even if. Yu Gi Oh! is not really that great of a TV show. It's better than Pokemon, but it's not really good my top 20. Seven Deadly Sins, I love it, but I don't think it deserves to be higher than a C. And this is like, I'm a Seven Deadly Sins fan. And then um, Yu Yu Hakusho, I never watched it, so I can't really tear it up there. So Dr. Stone is a B for me. I've watched it and I love Dr. Stone. He's probably like one of my top 10 favorite protagonists. Fire Force, I love the opening and the endings. I think it's such a great shonen. Chainsaw Man, still really new, but I really love the manga. Villain Saga, it, ha it came out the same time as Demon Slayer, so I never really gave it a I don't even know what happened. I think these it's a great are. action series that a lot of people would recommend. Cowboy Bebop, obviously, it's a great show. Black Clover, I love it, but it's not A material. But it's still really great. I like it. Um, Attack on Titan is an A. Death Note's an A. Jujutsu Kaisen is an A. Hunter Hunter is an A. One Punch Man's an A. Samurai Champloo is an A. So my S tiers are Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Full Metal Alchemist, Code Geass, Mob Psycho, One Piece, and Naruto Shippuden. I know a lot of people were trying to argue with me with that one, but I feel like a lot of animes copied Naruto, even just based off like the three main characters. Dude, Naruto Shippuden should be like fucking F tier. If you're taking out the original series of Naruto from Naruto and just looking at Shippuden, like, bruh, put that shit in F tier. That shit was ass. So this is my tier list. Comment down below what you guys think. I want arguments in the comments, honestly. I want you guys to fight me on my tier list. I hope you guys like this video. If I want to keep doing anime conventions, thank you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a thousand plus thumbs up. Thank you. Dude. Naruto Shippuden ruined Pain and the fucking Akatsuki. So the parts you like about Naruto Shippuden, that series literally disrespected worse than anything I've ever fucking seen, bro. They straight up ruined everything that was going on. Like, dude, Naruto talks his way Jordan out Belford of every major conflict. And it's fucking just horrible. All right, so you generation your video. Uh, oh wait, actually, never mind. We'll do FBI's first since technically it came in first. It's just not in the super chat feed. Oh yeah, okay. All right. Is it true that speed is a dumbass? Yo, what is this kahoot, bro? What is this kahoot? Like, what the, like, bro, what the fuck is this kahoot? Is it true that speed is a dumbass? <laughs> y'all are so weird, bro. Y'all are so freaking weird. I swear y'all are. Why y'all let Messi win, bro?
Okay. Uh, multi select. The speed like what the fuck? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Bro, no. <laughs> Bro, no! <laughs> Bro, no! Hell nah. This shit's weird, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I like how maybe even got more than no. Ooh. Yo, who made this Kahoot, bro? Like, nah, this is like, it's not even funny. This is, like, this is, and why is Messi, what? Bro, like, it's, bro, it's Team Ronaldo is just complete dumbasses. Like, bro. Like, lock in, bro. <laughs> the speed, like, is, what? <laughs> Fuck. No! No! Bro, what is this? It's the fact like only like 1% of the people in this stream is saying no. Like whoever the 1% is, bro, like I genuinely love y'all. The fact like about four like bro what is that? Three, bro, 3,000 of y'all gonna, like, like, it's just, like, it's, like, it's so weird, bro. Like, and I really wanna know who made this coup, bro. Like, I genuinely wanna know who made this coup, bro. Multi-select, bro. The... Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. All of the above. No, like, none. Like, none. Click How do none. you, like, none? Press none, bro. Press Bruh, none. You can't, like, all of the above. Bro, like, press none. Larry Green made it? Press none. Hey, bro, y'all are weird, bro. None, bro. I'm skipping this. Alright, so it's, okay, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, it's, okay, it's thousands of y'all in the chat right now. Only a hundred mature people click none. Like this, like this, honestly, like done. Like that, honestly. Ex what the? Oh no! No! False! <laughs> false! 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 Everybody in the fucking street better click false. Y'all better click false. Y'all better click false. Y'all better click false. Yo, everybody that's in this stream that's watching this, click false, bro. Click false. I'm not playing with y'all, bro. I, bro, I'm dead ass serious, bro. <laughs> I'm dead ass, like, bro, like, I'm not smelling none of that, bro. Is speed a furry and like furries? Bro, <laughs> a three-year-old had to make this. Like, bro, a three-year-old had to make this, bro. Like, bro, some three-year-old made this, bro. Bro, like, some, bro, some little three-year-old had to make this. Like, he didn't even spell furry right. Some three-year-old made this, bro. <laughs> Yo, false. Click false, bro. <laughs> like, it's not even funny, bro. All right, let's see who won, bro. Third place. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit, dude. So this is the type of person that clicks display a shortcut on your fucking uh, desktop when you download shit on Steam. Damn. Oh my god. Damn. Alright, so you generation will do your video.
Jordan Belford has responded to my allegations and I want to talk about it. Some of you may know Jordan from The Wolf of Wall Street, which is based on his life as a scammer. More recently, he's in hot water for being involved in another scam, Omega Pro, and having money in a $500 million Ponzi scheme. Now, I reached out to Jordan about this ahead of time. Hey man, Ponzi schemes are fucking lit if you don't get caught. And his team's response was that I was being wildly misleading. So even though it's not a big deal because he's kind of a, a small fish in this whole thing, I wanted to settle it because it's a little bit annoying when people tell me I'm taking them out of context when in fact, everything that I'm saying is complete. Is this like a cryptocurrency or some shit? Because if it's a cryptocurrency, all of it's a fucking Ponzi scheme. So who fucking cares? Completely correct. So we will be reading their whole response to me to make sure you get the full context. And I'll warn you in advance, they're gonna try to trick us. Let's start off right from the top. Hi, Jordan. My name is CoffeeZilla. I'm an investigative journalist. I noticed you had a balance of $325,000 with Trader's Domain on September 20th, 2022 via your company, FutureGen LLC, and also participated as a paid spokesman of some kind for Omega Pro, both massive interconnected Ponzi schemes. And they said the following in response. Mr. Belfort is not, nor has ever been, a paid spokesman of Omega Pro. He actually declined their offer. Omega Pro hired Mr. Belfort to speak at two of their events about sales and entrepreneurship. I, I know you're confused. You think maybe I had a stroke. No, I'm reading it exactly how they said it. He says, I've never been hired as a paid spokesman, but I have, I have actually gotten hired twice. <laughs> yeah, there's a difference though. Being a paid spokesperson for a company means you represent the company directly being paid by the company to come and speak in an event is not a paid spokesperson there's a technical legal difference there so yeah technically yes and no it's more of kind of like a gray kind of area let me explain it to you spoke like, if fucking Microsoft paid me to come and speak at an event for whatever fucking reason, I'm not a spokesperson for Microsoft. I'm just someone they paid to come in and have speak at a Microsoft event, if that makes sense. Spokesman means you're endorsing the business as a legitimate business, which Mr. Belfort obviously would never do. So I'm not advising you to go out and find some get rich quick scheme, which this is not, it's a legitimate business, okay? Not understanding how they're saying he's not a paid spokesman here since he was paid and seems to be a spokesman. Either way, they continue. These were two of over 150 events that Mr. Belfort spoke at that year and he has- Damn bro, he's doing a lot of fucking events. Never had any affiliation with the company and only vaguely knows what- I wonder how much he charges. I know like this sales training shit, he made like, fuck loads of money from i think he's actually wealthier now than he was prior to getting arrested which is kind of funny but they do <laughs> and i had to laugh at this part because i'm just thinking to myself like yeah isn't it that funny moment we can all relate to when you're speaking at the biggest event of the year for a company in panama and you have no idea what they do sounds really reasonable guys sounds sounds legit in fact could i sell the pen yep you just present someone with an immediate need for a pen. During his speech with Omega Pro, he specifically stated that he was not there to speak about their business or making investments as he was unfamiliar with what they do. Now it's at this point, we're going to have to talk about Jordan's get rich quick claims because that's another part of my question to them. Because in this speech where he has no idea what the business is, Jordan claims you gotta get rich quick, which, you know, is a bit of a red flag when you're talking about a get rich quick scheme. There's only one way to get rich in this world. And that is quickly. You got I agree. You need to make as much money as quickly as possible. Got to get rich quick. Otherwise, you're going to be fucking dead by the time you get to enjoy it. Now, unsurprisingly, Jordan had an issue with the fact I said I was going to play that clip. His team said in response, the above quote you provided is wildly misleading as it is only the first half of the quote. The full quote from the transcript is below and Mr. Belfort stands by it to this very day. And I'm gonna to jump to the second half of the quote, 
because you've already read the first part. You got to get rich quick, okay? And the reason for that is because we live in a world that's far too expensive to get rich slowly. You can't get rich slowly over time. Between Wait, you had to do the sell the pen exercise for your oral comm class? Interesting. And currency devaluations and all the hard work. By the time you get rich, it's too late. But I'm not. Yeah, exactly. Not talking about a get rich quick scheme. That's not what I mean. I'm not advising you to go out and find some get rich quick scheme, which is not a legitimate business. Now, I know what you're thinking. I just got roasted. I thought the same thing. I thought maybe I was wrong about Jordan Belfort. Poor guy is getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to talk about a company he knows nothing about, and he's being criticized for I should sell pens. All right, man. Or one-way tickets to Penn Island. All right. I mean, I couldn't believe it, what I had almost done, because I hadn't made the video yet, mind you. I was requesting for comment, and I was about to apologize uh, when I actually watched the real video and remembered the full quote. You gotta get rich quick, okay? And the reason for that is because we live in a world that's far too expensive to get rich slowly. Yep, inflation. You just can't get rich slowly over time between inflation and currency devaluations and all the hard work it tells. By the time you get rich, it's too f***ing late. And I will tell you this. This is a fact. I'm not talking about a get-rich-quick scheme. That's not what I mean. So I'm not advising you to go out and find some get-rich-quick scheme, which this is not. It's a legitimate business, okay? Did you catch it? Jordan's team has conveniently edited the quote from, I'm not advising you to go out and find some get rich quick scheme, which this is not, meaning Omega Pro is not a get rich quick scheme. It's a legitimate business, okay? And they changed it to say this. So I'm not advising you to go out and find some get rich quick scheme, which is not a legitimate business. It's either way, it doesn't really sound that bad to me. I don't know. It's a totally different meaning. I don't know how this is a huge, like, issue. I don't fucking know. In one of them, you're endorsing the company. In the real one, you're calling it a legitimate business. In the fake quote that they provided me... Okay, and maybe to his knowledge, it is a legitimate business. Like... There was millions of people who thought FTX was a legitimate business. There was millions of people who have thought tons of other companies are legitimate businesses. <laughs> so? All of that context is gone. I wonder why. Maybe it's because it shows that Jordan is at least pretending to know what this company does. Yeah, people thought Because Enron you wouldn't call something legit. a legitimate business if you had no idea what they did, right? They also left out another part <laughs> where Jordan tells the crowd... It's great that you all believe in Omega Pro, but don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Don't second guess it. Just look a fucking around you. Who can smell money? Can you smell the money? Yes. Ladder, can you smell it? Yes. Why is that? Why is that? Why is it that within this room right now, there is so much success so much money being made why why is that well a couple of things number one there's a lot of belief in the room you all believe in what you're doing you believe in the cause you've been so basically he was paid to come in and hype people up that's what i'm taking away from this shit making money yourselves you've been able to convince others to do the same to join up and to make money right that's what's going on here so there's belief but I will tell you this, there's an old saying that we have in English. And that saying goes, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Meaning these, these types of moments in each one of your lives, they don't come along that often. They just don't. <laughs> this is insane. In fact, you could replace Omega Pro with literally any penny stock that Jordan was selling back in the day that he got arrested. And it feels like the same thing. The whole thing about like, I, you know, there's so much money here. You believe this is an incredible opportunity, but just don't look, look at it too closely. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. It's barely going to come back again. You know, it's once in a lifetime. This is the same thing. It's the same scam. 
just a new way to do it, right? It's just not penny stocks. It's this Omega Pro nonsense. And they had the audacity to leave that quote out, twist another quote, and then try to, what, get me to walk back what I was going to say? Now, finally, we're going to get to the last claim of mine, which is that Jordan had money locked in Trader's Domain, which once again, they told me that I was being wildly misleading about. Uh, but then they said this, as far as Trader's Domain goes, Mr. Belford has no knowledge of Trader's Domain or any link that they may have had with Omega Pro, other than that a very close friend of his said that he was making a lot of money with a managed account. And he convinced Mr. Belfort to give this money manager a shot. So Mr. Belfort made a small speculative investment there of approximately $200,000. Small investment of $200,000? Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. Yes, CoffeeZilla. In the world of investing, motherfuckers wipe their ass with $200,000. If you make $200,000 in the investment world, you are a fucking failure. That is the starting pay for fucking financial analysts on Wall Street. That is nothing. You're talking about a dude that's worth probably a hundred million dollars minimum. Two hundred grand ain't shit. His money sitting in the fucking bank generates more interest than two hundred k. This is so fucking disingenuous, but like, holy fuck. In the money management world, two hundred grand is like giving someone a fucking five dollar Target gift card. If you lose it, ah, uh, who gives a shit? Nobody cares, bruh. You know? Whoa! Welcome to the real world! I don't... That is, like, beyond fucking incredible, dude. That is... <laughs> that's fucking pathetic. Who in their right mind... Look, bear in mind, this guy is, like, a scam professional, right? He did it for years. He then puts money in a thing that seems too good to be true, offshore Forex brokerage with zero research. Like, we're supposed to believe that? I mean, personally, I don't believe it. Dude, it's 200K. <laughs> like, this fucking dude probably makes more than 200K in a fucking month. At least during his most popular months. Let's see. So, he probably made about ten to 15,000 off of this video. About 10,000 off this video. About 30,000 off this video. Like, dude, this guy is rolling in fucking cash. Fuck off. 200 grand is not a consequential sum of money, even to yourself. Quit acting like you're so relatable. Like, fuck off, dude. That Jordan Belfort is looking at this thing that looks like probably what he used to sell and goes, yeah, this seems like a good opportunity. <laughs> Uh, according to them, quote, after a few months of seeing profits, Mr. Belfort felt that it was too good to be true and requested his money back. That's when the problem started. It took many months and constant legal threats to get back his original investment, which he eventually got back with a small profit. So there you go. Crazy. He did make money. What? So are we wrong about? It's so funny. Like they claimed. Is it a crime to make money? Apparently, guys, making money is bad. I was being wildly misleading, but both of the things I'm alleging here, that he was publicly speaking for a get-rich-quick scheme and seeming to pitch it, basically, that's true. He also had money in Trader's Domain. Also true. He apparently made money with it, which we didn't even know. But also, we have to seriously interrogate whether Jordan knew nothing about Trader's Domain. Just Why? like... Who cares? We had to with Omega Pro because they then say, quote, he then closed his account and that was that. He would be willing to discuss off the record more of what he suspects is happening there as some of his friends were convinced to open up an account there by the same person, never got their money back. And just to be clear, despite this managed account offering Mr. Belford a 10% override and any money he could bring in, he never recommended it to any other person because from the very beginning, he always considered it a speculative investment and had done no due diligence. Rather, he made the investment based on the word of a friend. So it sounds like he did the responsible thing. I don't fucking know, man. Let me get this straight. Jordan knows nothing about Trader's Domain. Yeah, one of his friends called him, said, I have an investment opportunity, and he sent him 200 k which is an inconsequential sum of money to him.
Yes, this happens all the fucking time, dude. Oh, man. Why are we, like, playing in the fucking little leagues, man? We're not talking about someone who works the whole year and makes 50 shit. grand after taxes. We're talking about a guy that gets paid 100 grand to show up and talk to a company in one day. <laughs> and probably makes millions of dollars a month selling fucking sales courses. And probably makes money from book sales and fucking movie residuals. Like... You really think 200 grand is like some consequential sum of money to him? This would be like Elon Musk giving one of his friends 300k and saying, "Hey man, yeah, sure, you can put it in the fucking investment fund." Do you think he gives a shit? No. I, I don't fucking know, man. This is dumb. We're like acting like, you know, this is some huge amount of money when no, it's not. In the grand scheme of his net worth, it's not a lot of money. Lord Pond and Investor with a 5. Here's a video recommendation. All right, man. Check it out. I don't know, dude. This is fucking stupid. No due diligence. But if we talk off the record so that I can't say what he says, he's claiming he's going to explain what's happening. Are you kidding? Hey, listen, I know nothing about this. But if we go behind closed doors, I'll explain the whole thing. <laughs> no, he said what he suspects because he's familiar with scams, bruh. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. If you don't want it to make sense, it doesn't make any sense. You're right. Well, that's nonsense. I, I mean, look, this whole thing is ridiculous. And of course, the reason I'm talking about this is not because Jordan was like the big player in all this. He was not by a long shot. Because he has a big name you can drop in the title. Shot. I only bring up his response as an exemplary way that these influencers and speakers they just want to have it both ways. Look, they want to make all the money when they speak, right? All the money. Wild speaking fees of hundreds of thousands of dollars, supposedly. And then when it all goes wrong, they want to be held to zero accountability. Or to put it another way, they don't want you to look a gift horse in the mouth, even when it bites you. F*** it, you already paid me, right? Lauren Pothead invested with the two important people like Jordan get the... Exactly. Dude, this type of shit happens all the fucking time. Like, even within the Pokemon card community, bro. Like, I've been hit up a couple times by random people who have asked me, because they know I have a lot of money in fucking cards. Hey, man, do you want to split a card with me? I don't do it, because if I'm going to buy a card, I'm going to buy it myself. But no, this, this type of shit happens all the time. Like, a friend of a friend calls with an opportunity to purchase something... And it's like, bruh, I don't know. This type of shit happens all the time in the financial world. Like a friend of a friend has an investment fund and wants you to pitch money in. And you're like, okay, sure. You know, you've helped me out with some other business dealings. I can help you out with this and get your friend some capital. Here's 200K. You know, just don't fucking lose it. This type of shit is so common. I don't know. If you have, like, business relationships... Uh, I don't know, dude. This, this is like trying to make something out of nothing, I feel like. Uh, King Samuel with the two just got home. What did I miss? Lost my earbuds, rip. Hopefully they weren't AirPods, bro. But not too much. Just uh, anime whores. And Besnia with the five watch speed being racist to Chinese man. It's messed up, but I laugh. So, oh, I've seen that. Yeah, I can pull it up. Give me a second. We got to get through the rest of the recommended shit. Um, next up is this. Paste this. There was a hole here. It's gone now. Uh-oh. The local hooker left. It's 
So is this like supposed to be like a horror movie kind of thing? Dreamcast guy left. That's right, man. He went to the Olive Garden. Fucking suck dicks in an Olive Garden bathroom. What happened, bro? So is that like an edit or some shit? Or is it from like a movie? Or like, what is it? These are clips from an unfinished fan. Well, there we go. Taking South Park and giving it a Silent Hill makeover quickly lost interest as I could not come up with a story worth telling. However, I recall that Randy was supposed to be one of three or four living human characters. No Cartman. That's a crime. Stan, Kyle, Kenny, or other kids. Okay. Gotcha. So it was like a uh, little like mini South Park movie kind of thingy. The sound clips are very loud. Um, I can lower the volume back down. It's just whenever we have the quiet videos, I have to turn it up so that the, uh, you know, thing doesn't get drowned out. Yeah, I feel like Cartman's a survivor, bro. Honestly. All right, so let me see. Carrie Diamond, I think he did that. Next up. Resistance 2. You may have resisted the aliens. The slightly autistic synthetic man. It's the first time, but you still have to resist them at least like two or three more times if you count the PSP and Vita ones. Already better than the first game because it has colors in it. A fantastic new innovation for the Resistance franchise. Resistance 2 came out after COD 4 got popular, so in this one, you aim down your sights. No more awkward Halo zoom in for Resistance, man. He's a bona fide seventh gen shooter guy. They call it Resistance 2 because you can only hold two guns at the same time. That's right, in Resistance 1 you had the whole arsenal, but that was too much fun, so they got rid of that, thankfully. Here's a list of every game where only having two guns is better. Halo. That's it. Wait, how long did it take Resistance 2 to come out after Resistance 1? Oh, okay. Well, the green grass was nice for about five minutes, but we're back into the sewers. Hello, Steve Job. How are you doing? Can you give me an iPod? Steve Jobs, move out of the way. I need this cover. <laughs> he took my only cover. Uh, it's okay, Steve. I forgive you. I can't stay mad at the guy who had the best epic rap battle of history. One thing I hope they improved in this one from the first one is the enemy AI. The enemies were not that smart in the first one, so hopefully in this one they're better. Oh, is he just gonna walk into the wall forever? Yeah, I got some Why intel. Why is this fucking inner thigh white? When they're better, oh. Is he just gonna... What the fuck? Walk into the wall forever? Yeah. I got some intel. What's my intel? The frag grenade is a frag grenade. All right, nice. Don't worry, guys. The only aliens in trees are Ewoks, and all I have is like a slingshot. We should be fine. Oh my God, somebody gave him machine guns. What the hell did this? You know, if I had to guess, I'd say it's the monsters we've been fighting for two games now. Just a guess, just hy hypothetically speaking, that might be what it is. My hello there, truck full of sawn logs. Can I collapse the logs and make them all roll over? It appears not. Hold square to pick up the marksman. Oh, hello there, Borderlands 1 SMG. How you doing? Sorry, Chimera SMG. SMGs are some of the best guns in Borderlands 1. Eat. There's a giant sign that says eat. Okay, I could eat. I'm hungry. Back into pipe zone. Whoever is the manufacturer of large pipes did really well in this world. They must have done a lot of business. Every war is just a cover up by big pipe. They're just trying to get all At the beginning of the video, he had a similar speech pattern to Synthetic Man. Now, not so much. He does not sound like Synthetic Man. Their pipes blown up so they can sell more pipes. Resistance 1 might have had a Robo Crab section, but Resistance 2 has a child's tricycle section. Oh yeah, this is way more fun. 10 out of 10 tricycle gameplay. All right, Resistance 2, you may have added green trees, but will you let me climb the ladder on the slide this time? No way. Two games in a row, you can't do it. Insomniac sucks, dude. This is why I did not buy Spider-Man Miles Morales. Can I ride the swing at least? Crouch jump. Oh, I'm on the swing. Oh, I was on, I was on it for like one frame still. There was technically a functioning swing set. When the game is getting boring and your player is getting mad, give him zombies and a shotgun and he'll be very glad. It's not every day you get to do the fire hydrant test. All right, Resistance 2, make me proud. <sighs> Gas station, please explode to make up for the fire hydrants. The car blew up, but the pumps didn't. Come on. Sugar cane, hay stackers, toasted, wholesome, sugar coated goodness. Oh, you knocked down my box. I was reading this box. Come on. Maybe I didn't give the AI in this game enough credit. He specifically targeted the cereal box I was trying to read. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for coming out. So, you see, the joke is that the store is called Sneed's Feed and Seed, formerly Chuck's. Are you guys stuck on a wall again? Come on. Everybody gets one freebie, but after that, your AI has to function. At least the bad AI only affects enemies. It'd be terrible if it affected the squad mates as well. Oh. Look how much Ohio is in Resistance 2. Resistance 2 has the most Ohio. 
Ohio of any game. Jesus. Like an alien sound. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even see this that. This was a PS... Yeah, this was PS3. Resistance 1 was PS2, right? It was him. He was making the sound. I was just looking at the beautiful sights and smells of Ohio, bro. We don't have to fight alien. We can just look at Ohio together. Leave now. We, we need an go. autism emote? Yo, I have the perfect one. I don't know if I have it downloaded still. But I used to. Let me check. But... This would be the perfect emote. Um, shit. Let me zoom out. This would be the perfect one. <laughs> this one would be great. I feel like that would really be a, a nice one to add. Even without the language, or not language, the fucking words, because everybody would know what the puzzle piece means. It means autism speaks. Sorry, Dai Dulles. I don't take orders from people whose name I don't know how to pronounce. I don't know how to handle AE, man. We don't have a lot of AEs in words over here. The only AE I know how to pronounce is when there's an M between it in the word America. Am I right? Steve Jobs, I know you like The Mandalorian. It's a, it's a pretty good show, but you don't have to put the voice filter on when you're standing next to me. You can just talk like normal. Ah, uh, yes, and it appears the pattern for this gate is hexagon, 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 hexagon. These aliens sure are clever. The saw blade gun bounces off one zombie and into another one, killing a whole swarm in one shot. Which reminds you that you could just be playing Vampire Survivors instead. Press R3 to smash open door. Press R3 to smash open. Okay, I will. Smash. Okay, you happy? That was stressful. I love platforming with bad sprinting. Oh, there's a beam in the way. Oh, God, get out of the... Oh, my God. Oh, the checkpoint is right here. The checkpoint is where I just died. They knew you would fail this jump. Let's require precision platforming, but when they sprint, the FOV lowers so they can't even see where the ground ends. So you just have to guess and spam A. This is the worst building ever. I can't stand it. I wish I enjoyed anything in life as much as that monster hates that building. Okay, so when the player kills the really, really big guy, what should, what should the achievement trophy be? We've been racking our brains for weeks trying to come up with something, but we, we just got nothing. You guys, I just came up with it. Get a load of this. We're gonna make it say, the bigger they are. If I had a million dollars for every trophy slash achievement I have called the bigger they are, I'd be a millionaire. Well, Welcome to Resistance Medical University. All medicine is based on the four humors, Jerry, George, Kramer, and Elaine. Oh, come on, Daedalus. I like that guy. He was, uh, he was bald, and he was Hawthorne. Yeah, his, Hawthorne was his name. I can't believe Daedalus killed Hawthorne. Don't worry, guys. I have a plan to kill Daedalus. All I gotta do is lure him into my carbon freezing chamber. Fun fact, this yellow honeycomb wall is actually a collaboration nah, with the I game Nah, I never Haze. played Resistance. Spoilers for the game Haze. This actually, no, I played three. I didn't play the other ones may shock you, but the guys that wear the yellow power armor and take the yellow drugs and work for the corporation, they're evil. If you play the game Haze, don't trust them. I'm a King Samuel with the two. This is worse than Marvel humor. Please end my pain. I wish I could, man. Carnivore, a real meat eater. Don't be one of the apes, buddy. Apes are animals, and animals are just food to me. Breed and wholesale fishmonger. Will the wholesale fish... Dude, I wonder if apes actually do taste good. I'm gonna look this up. Does ape... What does ape meat taste like? The taste can vary widely depending on the diet of the animal, but typically it has a slightly gamey flavor, not unlike wild deer. Though deer has a texture closer to beef, which a monkey does not. Interesting. Well, if ever one of those little fucking Macau monkeys or whatever the fuck... Tries to steal my fucking man purse, bro. I'll beat it to death and then fry it up and let you guys know how it tastes. But yeah. Monger sign wiggle when I jump into it. I couldn't tell because the cutscene started. Come on. Did my guy just die? I think he's dead. What? <laughs> I lose. The resistance has failed. The aliens win. The end. They turned on all their pylon towers. Oh, wait. No, I'm alive. I'm fine. Let's take a moment to admire the soundtrack of Resistance 2. Truly a beautiful melody. Bionicle pop quiz. Which letter of the Matoran alphabet is this? Is it 1, B, 2, F, 3, H, or 4, Q? The correct answer is 1, B. Ugh, first I have to stop the aliens, and now I have to stop the more Boozok too. I just can't catch a break. Are you a normal soldier guy? What the? How do you get in here? Same thing with Resistance 1. The enemy bad guy ship had, like, a bunch of dead normal soldier guys. Like, one room away from the final boss. How do they get in here? Aliens don't have normal walls. They have 
two different wall modules, but neither of them are like straight. They're all crooked because they're bad the aliens. Like what civilization? Oh my God, invisible guy. I was criticizing your fence architecture. The alien fence is to distract you with the bad architectural stylings. That way the invisible guys can kill you easier. Hey Daedalus, you're the bad guy, right? Yeah. Uh, does this kill you? No, sorry. This, is, this isn't the final boss room yet. Okay. Oscar Rodriguez of the two, Resistance 2 should have been more sci-fi horror like Resistance Fall of Man. Yeah, this was in that era, though, where everybody wanted to make, like, a uh, first-person shooter, like, that was fast-paced, like Call of Duty and Halo, so it probably fell into that uh, reasoning for why they uh, changed it. Okay, Daedalus, how am I killing you? Just shooting you a lot? Is that the gimmick? Shoot the electrical orbs. Ah, the orbs. Where's the orb? Oh, that thing. Yeah, take that, Daedalus. Are you dead yet? You look pretty zapped to me. I don't know. If I was that zapped, I'd be dead. That's all I'm saying. Can it be? Is he truly dead? I'll just go ahead and touch his face for no reason. Oh my god, why did I do that? Oh, he was absorbing his dragon soul. See, now he's got powers. Oh, I do have dragon powers. I was just joking. I have the force now. Die. All they just blow up. Nice. So you're telling me the final boss had this kind of power and he couldn't kill me? Dang, that guy sucked. I gotta give him points for originality, though. The player empowerment section at the end of the game is not a minigun. It's force push. Although the final boss was a floating brain guy which is not technically a gunship but he didn't exactly have very many moves he had one move that he did for five minutes okay i know you survived the first time but there's no way the resistance man survives this explosion this time we're really gonna get him <laughs> looks like i survived after all there will be resistance three and there's nothing you can do to stop me and eh, no thanks Oh, I thought that said obese ho games, but now it's obo shoes games. <laughs> I'll fucking know. Um, let's see. All right, just a heads up, this may or may not have to get cut off. So I see a movie clip. Hey, 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 hey. Hi. I will take your money. All I got is this 20 for the rest of the week. You're broke. Hell yeah. You're fucking poor. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I was thinking maybe the bugle could show another side. Fuck off. Fuck off. Spider-Man won't let me take any more pictures. You've turned the whole city against him. I know I look like the kind of guy who used to pick on you in high school, and that's why you're upset, because I'm, you know, I'm the archetype of the guy who used to bully you. <laughs> Mr. Tate, please, isn't there any of these shots you can use? I really need the money. I have a shot for you. How about this for a shot? <laughs> Good shot there from Tate! Bro, how long did it take this dude to find all these fucking clips? Fuck that bitch, FDB. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't have time for girls right now. You're a loser, Spider-Man. You're a loser. <laughs> we get off that subject. You're Spider-Man, and she still won't have sex with you. You're a fucking what nerd. The fuck. <laughs> Here, kiddo. Happy birthday. No, I, I can't take that. You can take this money. Give me that money, bitch. Yeah, these are not easy fucking edits to do because you have to do the shit frame by frame, basically. To like crop someone in like that. Boom! Just one second. You want to get married, baby? Oh my god, she said yes! She said yes, oh, I can't believe she said yes! yes. We're gonna get married. <laughs> Whoa! Welcome to the real world! Yeah, this is the type of villain that fucking Marvel movies are missing.
<laughs> Boom! <laughs> what do you want? I will take my girl. I'm about to kill the hoe. If you lay one finger on her, fuck off. <laughs> You ho, I'm a bad boy. You got what you needed for your little science project. Now let me go. <laughs> I'm a scientist, bitch. I don't believe you. <laughs> I decided to crash the train and kill everyone. Whoa! Oh wow, mm, interesting. You can't stop it, spider door. We're all gonna die. Tell everyone to hang on! Fuck you! Dude, this is way better than any fucking Disney Marvel movie. Jesus, man. That was pretty good. Dude, definitely better than any MCU movie. 100%. Then again, that's not a very uh, tall order, right? Bro, and I come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Why you got an Argentina, bro? Hold on, let me uh, pump the audio real quick. Uh, konichiwa, konichiwa. No, no, Chinese, Chinese. Konichiwa, Argentina. Chinese, no konichiwa. Point, point, point. Bro, and I come back, come back, come back, come back. Why you got an Argentina, bro? Uh, konichiwa, konichiwa. No, no, Chinese, Chinese. Konichiwa, Argentina. Chinese, no konichiwa. Point, point, point. Bro, and I come back, come back, come back, come back. Bruh. I don't know why people hate on Speed, bro. He's funny as fuck. Speed is funny as fuck, dude. He's one of the few people that can actually pull off like that, uh, you know, Spurg human type shit. You know what I mean? I can't afford this like, shit! I don't know. The best way I can put it is like, he is the only, I guess, Zoomer humor fucking YouTuber or whatever the fuck you want to call him. That's actually entertaining to watch. Yo, people tried to cancel him for it. DJ Aftershock of the two, this was the clip Actman said was racist. Oh, I know, man. How horrible. I'm sure, like, I'm sure everybody was so deeply offended by that shit. But yeah, dude, Actman, I don't know why he's become, like, because Actman used to say, like, a bunch of fucking, like, really based shit, and, like, I, I don't fucking know. Like, he was, like, almost like a red pillar, dude. Like, in the gaming sphere. Like, he was almost like a pseudo-quartering in a lot of his takes. 
but you know he became oh so virtuous after he got like canceled or whatever when people dug up a bunch of his old shit so all of a sudden now he's like the woke warrior on a lot of shit which is unfortunate because Actman definitely has such a uh, squeaky clean internet presence to, you know, cast those stones in his glass house. I just, like, I, I don't understand why everyone feels the need to be fucking YouTube Karen. Like, let people have fucking fun, dude. I don't know. I'm so sick of, like, this fucking police state that a lot of these fucking dipshits make on YouTube. It's like, dude, fuck off. Who cares? If your little precious fee-fees are so fucking hurt, go drink yourself to death and do the world a favor. Like, honestly. If you are so offended, please swan dive off the Brooklyn fucking bridge in the middle of winter when the water is frozen fucking solid. Head first. Please. Like, I just, I'm sick of these fucking retards, like, constantly acting like, you know, everything is so fucking offensive and important, and like, oh, we need to stand up against bigotry. It's like, fuck off, dude. Let people have fun. I'm so sick of people trying to ruin the internet. Yeah, it's YouTube tattletales. And then literally what happens is YouTube catches wind of one of these bigger creators crying about it, and then they use it as an excuse to go fucking Nazi Germany on everyone and censor the fuck out of normal content creators because all these fucking dipshits, like, open the door for these people to come in and, like, further censor everything. It's just fucking stupid, dude. Like, they don't understand the bigger picture. Everyone's so narrow-sighted, and they live in, like, this bubble of, like, thinking, oh, it's only going to affect the people I don't like. No, you fucking retard. It's going to affect everyone. And when you open Pandora's box, do you really think they're going to fucking, like, give a shit about where you want them to stop? No, they're going to fucking exert as much control as humanly possible. And when they do it, People like you will make an environment where people will actively be cheering on that type of change only to realize later down the line it actually ended up fucking them. But they're too short-sighted to understand that shit. And, you know, I just don't understand why they think Google interfering more with YouTube is ever going to be a fucking positive thing. It's dumb. There's zero fucking long-term, like, vision on any of this type of shit. Like, you really think it's going to stop where you want it to? It's not. Give an inch, they'll take the whole fucking mile, bruh. They will take the whole fucking mile. (laughs) It's just dumb. I don't know, bro. I just, like, I'm so sick of that shit. But small balls and low T, Griffin? I know, man. Gotta take my TRT so I can get jacked. I don't know. It's just, it's sad to see. This is why I want to leave eventually. It's just, you can't have fun anymore, dude. You gotta fucking dance around eggshells constantly. Because you may offend the wrong person who has a contact at fucking YouTube that'll get you fucking banned because you pissed off the right person. It's just exhausting. All right, let's have some wholesome gaming entertainment, guys. So, you notice he didn't upload a video about Xbox's major update, but huge PS5 update today, bigger storage, bugs fixed, and the PlayStation Beep is gone. He's really excited about that PlayStation Beep, bro. Oh, this is big news. Ugh. I hate that noise. Personally. It is a very chaotic Monday morning because I just got out of bed, I'm enjoying my delicious monster, and suddenly huge pieces of news are dropping like crazy. Alright, tell me if I'm alone, but I hate power-on noises and beeps in general. 
Like, I hate the sound of, like, electronics turning on or beeping or whatever. Like, I have to stop the microwave before it fucking ends because I hate hearing that stupid fucking beep. The PlayStation 5 is doing a big firmware update that actually... Im yeah, Monster Energy is not delicious. ...improves accessibility, the streaming features, even stuff like the hard drive is being massively expanded, so I want... No, it's not. It's the exact same hard drive. I'm going to talk about that, and I'm going to post another video here in about an hour because the next Nintendo Switch has also just leaked. So let's try and dig into the Sony business first because you guys know I love a good PS5 update. Hope you guys are having a very good week. I know mine has started off surprisingly freaking chaotic. So please, if you oh. could, I'm Dreamcast yeah. Guy. Like this video and subscribe or you suck. Are you ready? Here we go sucks like wet dick in a fucking Olive Garden parking lot. So here it is, the PS5 software beta firmware update. Essentially, if you opt in to being a Sony tester, you get a chance to try stuff out usually about a month or two before it's actually released. And this is Dude, a- they're not updating the hard drive. They're literally just making it so you can buy a larger one to swap in. Oh my God, dude, are you shitting me? Are you fucking shitting me? Bigger storage? No, dipshit. They're not unlocking the fucking hard drive. They're making it so you could use a larger one. Oh my god. And why there was even a fucking capacity limit in the first place is fucking shit. stupid, but... I can't afford you know. this shit! <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, 2023 Perfect Dark with a 5. Crying about people being racist to him. Meanwhile, being racist to other people. I don't like people who act like the victims. Exactly, man. Everybody's a victim in today's world. The victimhood mentality is at an all-time fucking high. You know, it's popular to be in the oppression Olympics nowadays. I don't fucking... It's a race to the bottom, I guess. That's a good way to put it. But, yep. Throwing stones in glass houses is the best, I think, metaphor that's probably ever been created, especially in today's environment. So DJ Aftershock with the two energy drinks gave Griffin charcoal poo. No, it was a... Uh, fucking... What was it? It wasn't Monster. It was... Rockstar Energy. Yeah, they did the Destiny 2 sponsorship. I think it was. And literally, I chugged a bunch of fucking Rockstar Energies, and I literally had, like, liquid black shit after drinking two or three of them. Like, it was the most disgusting thing I have ever seen, bro. Like, that stuff is fucking horrible for you. Like, literally, my stomach was fucked up. And I went into the bathroom because I felt like I was going to, like, shit myself. So I went and sat down and, like, I looked in the bowl after, like, literally pressure washing the fucking bottom of the toilet. And I looked and it was, like, literally black sludge in the fucking toilet, man. It was disgusting. So, yeah, never again will I drink Rockstar Energy. That shit was so, like, gross. Yeah. Not a good time. And Laura Pothead Investor with the 10. My dad does the exact same thing. He drinks a monster right after he wakes up. I don't understand why people do that. It makes you crash at noon because of 70 grams of sugar. Yep, sugar in the morning is the worst fucking thing you could ever possibly eat. Because one, you crash. And two, it makes you crave it for the rest of the day. Eat anything with sugar at the end of the day before you go to bed. Because otherwise you're going to have sugar cravings for the entirety of the day and probably eat a bunch of shit. A hefty patch. I mean, it's kind of surprising how much they're actually trying to put all together here. But we're going to go through all of it bit by bit. But I want to actually scroll down here to the bottom because the biggest change they've made is one that now I can actually appreciate, which is they are supporting larger M2 SSDs. Now, this may sound minor, but currently the default storage of a PlayStation 5 is one terabyte, which is pretty big by last gen standards. Most PlayStation 4 games were, you know, between eight gigs and 20 gigs. You could install tons and tons of them very easily. Whereas now 
that we're in the era of 4K assets and massive maps and games like Grand Theft Auto Online, that takes up literally like 120 gigs. Call of Duty takes up 150 gigs. If you're trying to install something like Final Fantasy XIV, the MMORPG, that can easily be like 250 gigs. My point is that if you actually play current existing big online experiences, those games soak up usually huge chunks of your entire hard drive. So just recently, I actually bought a one terabyte expansion SSD. Now the M2 drive, if you haven't gotten one yourself, is fantastic. It plugs inside of your PS5. It basically, whoa, bruh makes it where there's nothing hanging out it's not like it's going to be dangling its balls off the back of your desk it's a very you have a uh, experience with someone dangling their balls off the back of your desk bro here comes a big hot load of playstation 5s oh man it's so thick yeah dude i put his ass up on my desk and his balls were dangling off of it a quick and easy access Previously, you could only get up to four terabytes. Now you can have eight terabytes of maximum storage capacity. <laughs> this is insane. Like truly, th this is great because there has been more talks about the fact that both Xbox and PlayStation are going to start to favor digital only games more, which I'm not a fan of. Just to make that very clear, I have a big physical PlayStation collection. I'm we know glad to have a physical PlayStation connection, but I think that if we are going to start pushing into that digital future, I think we're going to start to see video games getting bigger and bigger and bigger from just raw, uncompressed data. I guess once they stop having to worry about discs, I think we're going to start to see more games that are just 50 or 100 gigs by default, even if every game is like 50 or 100 gigs by default. It's just a normal 20 hour game, but an eight terabyte SSD should really future proof you to big updates. I mean, I think I'm definitely going to buy one, but now let's go to the top of these notes and check out everything that's brand new here. New accessibility features. You can now use a second controller for assistance. Now, this is something that people have actually been requesting more than I thought they would, where essentially if you're trying to play with somebody that has a disability or maybe if you're playing with like a young kid, it basically lets you connect a second controller and instead of it being player two, it's also player one. Uh, apparently this is gonna be really good because with certain third party controllers and stuff, you can also even do this for stuff like uh, if you're trying to connect a racing wheel or you're trying to do like a flying game or something like that, you can actually connect and control menus with your normal controller and then have the special controller also be player one. This is a nice, Extra update, use second controller for assistance. This is going to be especially good for people that actually have disabilities that make part of their hands not work as well. I've heard people talk about the fact that they're able to use part of this and part of this. It's nice to be able to, if they want, have two separate controllers for full functionality. That's pretty great. Next up, system UI haptic feedback. You now have the... Ugh. More fucking vibration. The option to turn on haptic feedback effects will never... That shit will be off. Navigating your PlayStation 5. Dude, honestly, I don't know. Maybe I should beat Final Fantasy 16 one more time and then just sell my PS5 again. <laughs> Although they don't really resell for anything anymore, so I would be losing money this time around. But I don't know. I don't really have a reason to keep the PS5 anymore. If... I don't know why anybody would do this, but it literally makes it where while you're selecting stuff on the menus, the triggers will vibrate. I'm not sure what extra immersive experience you guys are seeking, but I guess I'll probably just hold on to it because it's like if I end up buying another one at some point, it's like I'm going to just keep losing money on it. <laughs> I guess if you want that purified menu experience, this would definitely be it. Now, here is the funniest update. It seems normal when you first start reading it. <laughs> Support bar audio Adobe Atmos enable audio. Okay, so basically this just says, hey, if you have fancy headphones, 3D audio tech stuff, basically uh, more stuff is going to be able to access 3D audio, which if you've tried, PlayStation 5's 3D audio is bonkers. Playing this stuff with like a... It's not. <laughs> it literally sounds the exact fucking same.
a good expensive pair of headphones, uh, not even Sony brand headphones, just any headphones, it's kind of wild to play a game and hear footsteps off in the distance and stuff. Has he never used headphones before while playing video games? It's, it's crazy how good 3D audio is, but people... You mean surround sound? People notice this. You can also... <laughs> let me scroll down here because it's super funny. Um, you can now turn off the very famous PlayStation beep. Here it is. Yay! You are now able to mute the PS5 beep, beep sound. This has been iconic. This was originally introduced back with the PlayStation 3, but you can now... The worst fucking console Sony ever released? Choose to make it quieter. You can make it louder in case you're a uh, sociopath who loves that very iconic beep. Or you can just straight up mute it. System settings mute. This has been the product of so many memes because everybody's used to the fact that we've had this for, what, 15 years? I mean, since the introduction of the PlayStation 3, I kind of like the beep. I'm used to it, at least. But, of course, there's this. Me, my girlfriend. Me turning on my PlayStation. Beep! My girlfriend. Up, oh, time to get some attention. I mean, there's a lot of crazy memes about the fact that the PlayStation beep, a lot of people like to joke about the fact that you sneak away from your girlfriend or your wife and you try and turn on your PlayStation 5, and as soon as you secretly press that button... Imagine having to sneak away from your girlfriend to go play video games. <laughs> Dog, these are grown-ass men. Holy fuck, dude. Button... Beep! And then all of a sudden you're in trouble. So, uh, it's crazy they decided to let you disable that. Okay, next up, there is actually two parts of this that I really wanted to look at because to me they are freaking cool. I play a lot of PlayStation 5 games with my real life friends. And the ability to create parties, add parties, and yeah, uh, kick exactly, pe bro. People should be sneaking away from their video games to go play with their wives. One hundred percent. A lot of parties has been a little bit weird. <laughs> Essentially, they've added in a UI update, so now that you can invite people to a closed party without automatically adding them into a group or creating a new group. Whenever you make parties, 100%. it creates like a like a basically almost like a save file. So it's like, all right. I am opening up this file of the social interaction. Like you can see here, it's not just that they're in this party, they're in this party with people. And it's a system that always felt a little bit weird. They're, they're basically streamlining it. They're making it more logical. And it also lets you where if you want here, you can have a group with your friend and a group with all of your friends together. So if you're trying to like jump back and forth with like, say you have a new player and you're trying to explain stuff to them you'll i don't have any friends so i don't fucking care about this feature you'll be able to actually jump back and forth without constantly joining and leaving parties in a way you can be in multiple tiny parties at once and then later choose to make one mega party this is a tiny feature that most people won't use but i do feel like it's actually really useful and i am definitely happy about it now this is the other part of this that i think is actually really cool um, it's the last thing I want to talk about. Join friends game sessions easily. So whenever you're playing stuff on the PlayStation 5, you're staring at your like PlayStation 5 dashboard. It will tell you that other people are playing the game, but joining directly with them has sometimes been a pain in the ass. You can now just directly do it. You can easily see which of your friends are in an activity and join them under the friends tab. So instead of clicking the game, clicking your friend, clicking join, or clicking request party, now from your friends tab, it will straight up say, hey, you're playing Diablo, they're playing Diablo, would you like to join them? This is a tiny no. streamline to me is going to be incredibly useful and I am genuinely thankful for it. This is a dang good patch. I mean, it's not the biggest thing ever. It's not like yeah, there's... Yeah, I thought this was already a feature on fucking everything. I guess not. Suddenly rolling out 8K or any of the PlayStation 5 Pro features that are rumored. But as it stands, this has a lot of nice social improvements. And of course, now we can finally turn off that beep. Yeah, I thought there's always been like a join game button on PlayStation. I'm pretty sure I used that on PS4, but I don't fucking know. In case you hate... Now I have my doubts. PlayStation. I know Xbox has had it since like the fucking 360, bro. I don't know. I'm joking around. <laughs> like, that's Hope an old ass feature. You're having a great day. 
be sure to watch my other video here. I'm going to make a video right now talking about the Nintendo Switch yeah, Steam successor housing. because uh, I'm definitely ready for whatever's coming next from Nintendo while still being hyped as hell about PlayStation. Thanks so much for watching, gamer. I'm not that hyped about PlayStation. Scotty Man with the five. I missed the custom themes and backgrounds for the PS4. Some themes even had music and custom I Yup. Bro, the best one is. This one, bro. The music is top notch, bro. No, I like the music, dude. The music is so much better than that fucking obnoxious, like, whiny ass, like, whatever fucking theme that PlayStation has. I hate... Dude, I can't listen to the fucking PlayStation 5 home screen music without thinking of MBG. And it's really sad. Like, every time my PlayStation 5 gets turned on and I hear the fucking background music, all I think about is MBG's shitty fucking videos. And I'm like, no! Get that shit away from me, man. Because he uses that shit in the background of all of his fucking videos, and it's, like, obnoxious. It's like, bruh, any song but that, please. Like, tell me I'm wrong, dude. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. In this video today, guys, we're going to talk about how the PlayStation has implemented the most groundbreaking feature in the history of the console. But before we get into the video, guys, if you enjoy the content on the channel, make sure to drop a like on the video, consider subscribing for PlayStation updates in the future, and consider joining. Yeah, I am talking too fast, I'm sorry. And I'm not whispering. But yeah, dude, it's like, I cannot listen to my fucking PlayStation home screen music without thinking of him. And it's really irritating, so I need that Final Fantasy theme fucking back ASAP. So I can get like the nice, calm Final Fantasy music with the piano and not this shit. If you could like this video and subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already, and please keep dreaming. Oh my god, the beep is dead. We won. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last, or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I All promise right, that guys, I do, in today's to video. Oh, wait, fuck. There we go. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here, talking today about the future of the Nintendo Switch. Not Nintendo Switch is goaded. 
this current clunky amazing OLED switch, but apparently not only is Nintendo's next con- Nintendo Switch is probably Nintendo's best video game console. Don't fucking at me. Console in development. I still have more nostalgia for the GameCube, but I think objectively speaking, the Switch is by far Nintendo's best console from a games library perspective and them finally bridging the gap between console and handheld, which is something I've always fucking wanted. It has a loose release date for late next year. Like, dude, I mean, you can say the GameCube is the best fucking Nintendo console, but the thing is, when we were playing our GameCubes, how many people were like, damn, dude, this shit would be so much fucking cooler if the DS... Game Boy and GameCube shared a fucking game library. Like, I understand you can fucking play, like, the Game Boy games on the fucking GameCube, but, bro, it didn't work the other way. And that's what I mean. It's like, Nintendo has always had fire-ass handhelds and really solid consoles for the most part in terms of first-party games lineup. And that gap was, like, finally bridged where you get both libraries in one if you buy a switch game you can play it on your console or your handheld and i think that shit's really fucking awesome personally here let's take a look at the leak and why i'm actually very very excited about this let's- like i just remember having the ds dude and, like the game pokemon battle revolution was like the coolest fucking shit ever Because it actually allowed you to play the DS Pokemon games indirectly on your Wii, which meant you could put it up on the TV. So, like, you could have these awesome, like, fucking 3D Pokemon battles on Pokemon Battle Revolution while everybody was playing on their DS. And it was, like, literally everybody fucking wanted that shit that I knew. Yeah, it does look like he's fucking caking his shorts right now, but... I don't know, dude, like... I feel like the Switch is that perfect console that Nintendo has always been missing. You get all the perks of a handheld with all of the fucking features of a console. I think it's great. I think the hybrid thing that they've done is perfect, and they need to keep doing that because Nintendo handhelds have always been awesome. Their home consoles have always had a solid first-party games lineup, and ever since I've played Nintendo, I've always wanted like the two systems to be more interconnected in a sense discuss be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already i'm dreamcast guy i am cranked up on so much monster i just filmed a video about the oh my god bruh playstation 5 update be sure to watch that as well but now let's dig into the nintendo goodness Development kits for Nintendo's next console are now with key partner studios with launch planned for next year, sources have told Video Game Chronicle. Now, to be clear, VGC has some of the juiciest leaks. I'm not sure what they're... Mm, yeah, they're so fucking juicy, man. It's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. But yeah, I mean, makes sense. Didn't Microsoft accidentally reveal during that lawsuit that the next call of duty is going to come to the next switch in 2024 their journalists are doing if they're hanging out at bars waiting for developers to get really blackout drunk but if they're saying this i 1000 percent believe it but additionally this part key development partners this is something that happens the most which is that if you're somebody that makes the biggest and best games for a particular console they give you the dev kits first to make sure you're ready for, obviously, launch, to have big games ready for launch. But somebody over here on uh, IGN has actually transcribed the story. In- yeah, it's going to be unfortunate, man. The Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever is not going to be able to be purchased in mass quantity like I was with the uh, original Nintendo Switch. Because the original Nintendo Switch, everybody thought it was just going to be another Wii U scenario. So it literally sat on websites available for pre-order for almost a week. And I remember I bought like a shitload of them. And I was like, bro, how am I getting these? And then when launch day came around, everybody wanted a fucking Switch. 
So you could flip the switch for like 600 bucks and you're picking them up for 300 in the fucking parking lot of the Best Buy you were picking it up from. So literally most of mine I just sold like in hand. Same with the uh, NES and SNES Classic. You could do the same thing. But yeah, pretty cool. Added some important context and it says this. Nintendo will release its next-gen console during the second half of 2024. Sources have told VGC the dev dev kits for the unannounced new console are with people and they're ready to go. Apparently, this new next-gen console can be used in portable mode like the current Nintendo Switch has an LCD screen as opposed to the OLED screen in order to keep costs down. That sucks, and also comes with a physical cartridge slot. Now, I'm of two minds about this. First off, I am completely in love with my OLED screen. I actually play my uh, freaking Nintendo Switch OLED quite a bit. You can see I turned this thing on. It's not to cut down on cost. It's because they want to sell an OLED model at a later date. They want people to double dip again. Uh, I play a lot of stuff. Nintendo on knows what the fuck they're doing, bro. They ain't doing this shit on per on accident. Like, they know for a fact if they released a four hundred dollar Switch, and then a five hundred dollar Switch OLED to whatever the fuck, then people would obviously opt for the five hundred dollar one because, dude, whenever a new console comes out, people are gonna pay whatever it costs. They don't fucking care. But what the Nintendo is probably thinking is, oh shit we can charge full price for the shitty one. Like, let's say the retail price is 500 bucks. We can charge 500 bucks for the LCD one and then 550 later for the OLED one. But then people have already bought the $500 one. So now, you know, they're basically spending a thousand plus dollars on hardware. So I don't know, dude. I think Nintendo knows exactly what they're doing with that decision. That's exactly what I would do, too. On the treadmill, this is a game I was playing on the treadmill just a couple days ago, Slay the Spire. But, dog, why is he playing video games on the treadmill? He's obviously walking really slow. The LCD screen, I'm not shocked that they decided to do that, because let's face it, most Nintendo Switches still have that. This is the Nintendo Switch Lite, which still just obviously uses the LCD screen, but it is still good. This is my best friend's... Uh, uh, little Nintendo Switch Lite. She plays Animal Crossing it on it all day long, and she definitely never friend zoned. Stares at it and goes, "Oh God, these graphics are blurry and LCD." So the fact that it doesn't have an OLED screen is personally dis. Let's pour one out for our boy, guys. God, poor guy. Disappointing to me, but also let's face it, I'm 99. Gonna pers I'm gonna play this mostly docked on my big huge TV, anyways. But ew, dude, I only play my Switch in handheld mode. Other than when I'm streaming it, I hate having my Switch up on the TV for the most part because that's like such a great fucking aspect of it. Is like I can do other shit on my TV instead of like dedicating it just to playing video games so i can pull up like netflix or some other shit while i'm playing video games and then watch something in the background them trying to cut costs is a very nintendo thing to do personally i'm most freaking thrilled that this is still going to have a portable mode yes hallelujah i am extremely thankful for a portable mode I made videos about this like seven years ago when the Nintendo Switch originally came out, but I called it the Walmart effect, which is that the ability, the option to play things handheld improves my experience. E even if I'm not playing it handheld all the time, it's like the Walmart, like not every Walmart is 24 hours, but if there is a 24 hour Walmart, I'm more inclined to go there because I always know it's open. I am more predisposed to play my Nintendo 
Unfortunately, Walmart is no longer always open because we have a bunch of fucking dipshits that kept stealing from Walmart. So, yeah. They ruined that one. Shit, man. It's irritating. All the good things in life have to eventually be fucking ruined by dipshits. Nintendo Switch just bringing it with me because of the option to play it portably. That is extremely cool. Man. No, Walmart didn't shut down. It's just they're closing at midnight now instead of staying open 24-7 because it's too expensive to staff the stores for theft reduction. Because what would happen is a lot of like the stores basically would cut staffing at nighttime because there was reduced traffic. Well, you know, all the fucking retards that steal from Walmart decided, oh, instead of stealing during the day, we're just going to steal at night when there's not enough employees to fucking stop us. So, yeah, now everybody fucking steals shit at nighttime. So a lot of Walmarts decided to close like at 10 PM, 11 PM, 12 AM, just depending on where you are, instead of being open 24 seven, because it's too expensive to like staff the store at full staffing and also hard to find people who want to work night shift in order to have like effective theft reduction. So, yep. Pretty lame, man. People always have to ruin a good thing. And I mean, I'm super curious to see the power of this bad boy, though. A lot of people are basically saying if this thing has even roughly the power of a PlayStation 4, I mean, that's still pretty good. A five hour battery life like people are making jokes. Yeah, about dude, it's because they can't fucking stop people. So even if you have security, like a lot of these fucking retard cities have made it like a crime to assault someone, even if they're fucking stealing from your store. Like, if you club some retard who's, like, trying to steal from you with a fucking baseball bat and he's fleeing out of the store, you go to prison, not the fucking guy stealing from you. So, literally, you can't even stop people stealing from you in a lot of these fucking shithole cities like San Francisco. So, yeah, they just, like, decide to close down versus being open longer and having more cost and theft. And a lot of Walmarts are closing down in cities like Chicago, for example, because theft is so bad, they're not even profitable anymore. So it's like, well, what's the fucking point? And now all those people that are employed by Walmart no longer have a place to work. All the people who got their cheap groceries and, like, you know, essential items from Walmart no longer have a place to shop. All because a bunch of fucking retards steal. So, yeah. GG well played. About how powerful or how weak this system is going to be. But I don't know, man, I'm super excited to see how this actually runs, what the launch games are, what the capabilities of a next gen switch is going to be, because honestly, the Nintendo switch has been such a massive financial success and Nintendo's not dumb. Nintendo understands how to reinvest their assets. Historically, if a game series sells well, Nintendo does the snowball effect. Okay, Zelda Souls, 20 million copies, so let's make the next one bigger budget, bigger expansion, bigger ideas. I'm curious if they're going to do that with their consoles, where, honestly, Nintendo Switch is their most profitable, expansive, crazy system of all time with more Zelda than any other system. Let's see how far they can. Nah, I think you should be able to shoot the fuck out of anybody who's stealing from you. If they have zero fucking respect for your fucking stuff, you should have zero respect for their life. I think if somebody's stealing from a store and, you know, somebody pulls a fucking gun and pops them in the back of the head, I don't think the cops should even bother investigating, personally. It's the only way they're going to stop. A fucking week in jail is not going to do anything if that's even what they get. By the time their trial's over, they'll maybe have to spend the night for theft. That's it. And then they'll get out. It's fucking stupid. There's zero fucking punishment for crime anymore. It's literally a better financial <laughs> um, value, pretty much, to steal and get away with it one time, but still get caught the three other times. Just from a time perspective and an earnings perspective. Like, it's just absolutely fucking stupid.
it can push the envelope. I mean, l l let's read the rest of this here. In May, Nintendo said its long rumored Switch successor wouldn't release until at least April of 2024. The president. I mean, in a sense, like somebody stealing from you is threatening your livelihood. So, what's the difference of threatening your life at that point? Your job, your fucking products, your store provides for you, which allows you and your family to live. Someone is actively endangering your life by stealing with, like, stealing from your store, essentially. So, if they're endangering your life, they forfeit their own. I don't know, dude. All I can say is if we ramped up punishments, there'd be a lot less fucking crime. But when the punishment is essentially a slap on the wrist or, you know, states like California saying, well, if it's under $1,000, we're not even going to prosecute them. Why the fuck wouldn't you steal? <laughs> why the fuck wouldn't you steal, dude? If you can, if you're literally told you can steal $900 worth of shit and the cops won't even bother investigating... Why would anyone pay for anything, dude? You're just going to take whatever the fuck you want. There has to be consequences. It's just fucking stupid. Said that they weren't considering any new hardware for 2023. So it definitely seems like this is becoming more and more of their plan. The current Nintendo Switch's sales have been falling off a cliff. They actually have been lowering their sales forecasts. This is a steep decline, but it's very obvious. It's not that the Nintendo Switch sucks or that people hate it. It's that it's not that the Nintendo Switch sucks. Everybody already has one. Sucks or that people suddenly hate it. It's that we're actually in the seventh year of the Switch, and essentially everybody that wants the system has it. I mean, at this point, the only way to sell more Nintendo consoles is to come out with a new Nintendo console. You can't at this point just suddenly <laughs> create more fans. You have hit market saturation. The only way to actually get people to buy it is to release a new console. I am still most curious to see if this has some sort of crazy gimmick because let's face it, we're all very normalized now to the- Yeah, dude, if you steal in China, you get sent to a fucking work camp for 10 years. Do you think motherfuckers are stealing in China frequently? Hell no. Nintendo Switch and these little tiny Joy-Cons that pop off and have motion control. But also the Chinese have much more uh, moral values and are much more ethical in that regard. So there's also the fact that, <laughs> you know, our like system of morality in Western countries is completely fucking evaporated. But yeah. Fear and an actual moral compass reduces crime in a lot of these other countries. In the U.S., there's no fear of crime, for the criminal at least. And then nobody has any fucking morals anymore. So, you know, it's just going to fucking fester. When HD rumble, but when they initially revealed this, it was a bit crazy. It was a bit wild. Dude, why would you put massive fines on someone that's stealing? They don't have any money. Bro, you're not stealing shit if you have money to pay a fine. <laughs> the reason people steal shit is because they don't have a lot of money in the first place. What the fuck is fining someone with zero money going to do? They're already fucking broke. No, hard labor is the actual only punishment because it forces them to give up the one thing they do have, their time and freedom. That's it. That's all they got, bro. <laughs> they have nothing else of value to offer. I hope the next Nintendo Switch is as normal as possible. And I'm sure somebody's going to clip that and show that whenever the next Nintendo Switch has some weird gobbledygook. They yearn for the mines. Stuff where I got to, like, eat soup to turn the console on or something. But let's hope it is as normal as possible. Because, let's face it. I'm a boomer gamer. You know, I'm almost 40. No, Panda, I'm not even talking about putting them in jail. I'm saying send them to a work camp. Make them actually, like, you know, repair roads. Fucking, I don't know. Build military fucking vehicle. Like, put them in, like, fucking work camps, bro. The Chinese have that shit right. 
make them actually produce something that earns the country money, essentially, so that they repay their debt financially and with their time. I like my controllers normal. I like my graphics good. I like my load times low. So how long should the work camps be? Well, it depends on the uh, severity of the crime. If they manage to hit that with the next Nintendo Switch. Yeah, hard labor is way more productive than just sticking somebody in a fucking cell. It doesn't got to reinvent the wheel. It doesn't got to have 4K. Like, oh no, dude, what a punishment. I get three meals a day. I can go on the fucking internet. I can watch TV. I can go work out. I can read books. Like, oh no, what a punishment. Oh, I'm out in a week. Done. Well, I sure hope they don't catch me again for the next six months. Oh no, I have to go spend another week in jail. Damn. Well, I'm out again. Let's go on a one year run. Like, it's just. It's dumb, bro. There is no fucking punishment right now. Ultra 500 frames a second. Just give me decent looking games. And you know what? I think I'll be happy. But the last part of this, which is what everybody's most curious about, myself included, is that. We still have no idea. So let's see. Daryl's on with the two, not just that, but they can sue. Oh, well, yeah. If you uh, stop somebody stealing from you, they can sue you for assaulting them. Yeah. That's fucking stupid. About the crucial question of backwards. Comp- All I can say, bro, is we will make the criminals yearn for the mines. They will go extract mineral deposits. And Yeah. They'll repay their debts. The mine will become their new home. Compatibility. A lot of us, I'm sure most of you watching this, have massive Nintendo Switch collections. What's happening with the Nintendo Switch backwards compatibility? Can I put physical cartridges into this and will it work? It says it has a cartridge slot, but does that mean things are going to be plug and play? Does that mean I'm going to have to pay $5 to get an update patch for the new system? I think with how smart Nintendo has... Uh, Yes, they can sue you for stopping them from stealing from your store. If you lay your hands on someone who is stealing from your store, they can sue you for fucking assault and battery. Ben, I think it's... Do I yearn for the mines? No, I haven't committed any crimes yet. But maybe one day. I'm going to have backwards compatibility, purely pulling this out of my ass, purely guessing... And I think it's going to do something minor to upgrade the visuals. If you That's play- right, man. The children yearn for the mines. Minecraft is a fucking psyop. A game on it, it's going to have mildly better frame rate, mildly lower lower load times, maybe some sort of like a general upscaling. But as it stands, I'm definitely excited about it. What do you guys think, though? Are you excited for the Nintendo Switch Pro? The Nintendo Yeah, we can put prisoners like on that episode of Black Mirror where they all have to pedal constantly. Like, that's what we should do with prisoners, man. Stick them on fucking bikes and make them pedal all day to power the fucking uh, electric grid. <laughs> there you go. And unless they meet their electricity quota for the day, their sentence gets extended. Switch to the Super Nintendo Switch. Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below, and please, if you could, keep dreaming. All right, now time to uh, delete my uh, my friend's Animal Crossing save file so she murders me. Look, she even has this cute little Animal Crossing case. Look at that. Uh, should, am I allowed to be jealous of a Nintendo Switch case? Because uh, low key, I am. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise <laughs> that whatever I do... Get little... Tipster's fat ass pedal, bruh. He needs it. Real talk, bro. We should do that too with fatties. Like the fucking people who are like 200 and... Let's say, eh, let's say 300 and up. You know, if you're 300 pounds and up, you're, like, sentenced to a fucking term on the bikes. You have a one-month term on the bikes, and you have to hit a fucking certain amount of electricity within that day, or else your sentence gets expanded a day. And in the process of them biking, they'll lose weight. Dude, here we go. We can write the new constitution, guys. Fucking forced, uh, forced exercise biking for all criminals. Hell yeah. 
Bro, those fatties might die. Shh. Stop. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it, bro. Don't spoil the surprise. Well, I mean, if you wanted to have a, a bike, you could. Like, nothing's stopping you. I can't afford this shit! I can't afford this shit! Um, I can't afford this shit! Let's see. Dog, what is that? DSP suffers ultimate meltdown after Platinum does not allow him to hit Diamond. Loses 40 plus match. Bruh. Oh my god. Yo, I don't know if we can get through this tonight. Holy fuck, dude. Maybe I'll watch that tomorrow. Like, on my own time. That's fucking crazy. Holy fuck. Oh, I need bananas. Chase, need bananas. We should force people over 200 pounds to have to ride in the car. Eh, I don't think 200 pounds, because, like, if you're tall, 200 pounds isn't that much. Like, if you're 6'5", like, 200 pounds, you're skinny. So, I think 300 is a good cutoff. Because, I mean, you can still be, like, you know, fat, but not, like, fucking land whale. I would say 300 is like the land whale cut off. So guys, it's GTA 5 tonight. Very simply, here's how I'm going to put it. I love this game. I've been playing it with you and enjoying it. Uh, and I know you guys have been liking it because attendance has been high on these streams. Engagement has been high and so has been viewership on YouTube on demand. All right. What's been lacking is support and I don't know why. Because as I've been talking about the last several days... Um, generally my rule and, and what I go by on YouTube is thus. If the game is good, if I'm enjoying myself, if you're enjoying yourself, and if everyone's having a good time, usually the support goes with it. For some odd reason, that has not happened with the GTA streams. I, I don't know why. I don't know what's lacking. So... <laughs> oh, no. Tonight, if you are enjoying yourself uh, and you enjoy this stuff please support it please perhaps a super chat a membership a tip yeah guys watching the content viewing it likes chatting that's not enough if you're not paying me the per hour quota that i have set in my head it doesn't fucking matter anything is appreciated here tonight for support on the stream a like right anything all of that is great well, very simply put, guys, last month I had to pay my state, or excuse me, my uh, federal taxes. And when I did, it completely emptied out any <laughs> excess funds I had in my bank account. Oh, no. And right now, all my bills are clearing. In fact, today, two major bills cleared, and I am, like, biting my fingernails, wondering <laughs> if I have enough money to clear my fucking... <laughs> Bro. This is so fucking sad. I'm biting my fingernails to know if I have enough money to clear the bills. <gasps> Holy fuck. My uh, federal taxes. And when I did, it completely <laughs> emptied out any excess funds I had in my bank account. And right now, all my bills are clearing. In fact, today, two major bills cleared. And I am, like, biting my fingernails, wondering if I have enough money to clear my final bills that are going to be clearing in the next Bro. one to two days. All right. So that being said, please, guys, please consider tipping me. Why? Because if you tip me, any funds you tip me, I get right away. I get them literally right away. I can put them into my bank account. The past three straight days, any tips you guys have given me, I've deposited straight into my bank account to try to make sure that there's enough money in there to clear all my bills. All right. Uh, you know, after the, Could the you bad imagine, press that bro? Got. Like, you're 40 years old and you're biting your fingernails to understand, like, the hope that you have enough money to pay your bills. Like, holy shit.
A dark mirror with a two. I got it. All jails should be factories and or mines. Yes. Uh, uh, for the things that he did. What just happened? What the? It just started. Yep, his wife allegedly works, but apparently she doesn't pay towards any of their expenses. It's all DSP's responsibility. I literally just started, and it says I failed the mission. No, the bikes are after. So, dude, this is the thing. Is in order to power the assembly lines, you would use the bikes to produce the electricity. How the hell? The car had just appeared. How did I fail the mission? The game is so fucking broken. It's ridiculous. Unfair as hell. Exactly. He was the original incident. Absolutely right. Only his was worse than mine. Because he got cut out red-handed. Literally. Red-handed. God, sometimes I'm so stupid. Do you do you want to be arrested for obstructing justice? Oh, no. I can't afford this. <laughs> Bruh. What the fuck is this? Dude, he's not dead. Oh my god. They pulled up in front of me, got out behind me, and executed me. Great. No, okay. he does have that auto aim, I really think. Good. What a great game this is. King Samuel with the two. Maybe we can achieve socialism with our prisoners. That's right, man. A bright new future. I can't aim. The, dude, the, the, the combat is so bad in this one because they made it all auto. I can't even aim for the guy in front of me. There's no free aim. So I'm just trying to free aim and fire, and I can't aim for the guy. And so he's, goes, he's getting pulled in different directions. And it won't even let me, like, attack the guy standing directly in front of me. You got lucky, buddy. I can't move. This guy won't stop driving into me. Look, he's still driving into me. He wouldn't let me drive towards the guy, towards the car, because he fucking blocked me. Stupid idiot. Yep, he's prepping for a heist, I'm pretty sure, if I remember this correctly. It's been I mean, a hot fucking aim. minute I since I played aim. this game. Dude, unaim and aim back in. It will literally lock onto their fucking dome for you. Oh, now he picks up a fucking AR. Oh. Oh. I can't turn. Are you shitting oh me? Look my at this. God. They purposely drive in front of you and won't move. Once you try to turn the car, they like direct their vehicles in front of yours, and then they keep moving and driving to get their vehicles stuck in yours so you can't get out of the fucking way. What kind of fucking AI is this? He's in front of me, so I'll turn around. Well, it's artificial, but it's more intelligent than you. I don't fucking know, man. This is fucking horrible. Oh, now horrible. they're coming up behind me, so now they're going to see me because they're coming up behind me out of nowhere. And now they're coming from the other side, too. And they Get saw on me. the exit ramp. Uh, I don't like evading the cops in this one at all. I think this is incredibly frustrating. It's been better in previous GTAs. I don't like this at all in this one. Keep in mind, I only played this game once ever. But from what I'm liking, I really don't like this. The cop evasion is super annoying. The cops are like fucking psychic, they know exactly where you are. The driving AI is terrible because it fucking purposely drives into you, even the regular people. Not just cops, the regular people drive into you. At, like they're fucking vigilantes or something to stop you from evading the cops. Look, look at it, look how he's driving. 
How the fuck am I gonna evade him when he's driving like that? Like that? <laughs> oh my god. can't lose the cops. They literally will not let up. Look, they're still right on my ass. Even though I've done all this crazy evasion, they're still behind me. Now they're psychically in the dam already. How are they in the river? How did they know? They have radio, you tard. That I was down here to have another car down here already. Like, what the fuck? Okay, I didn't. I, I'm still not touching it. If you take a look, I still haven't touched it. <laughs> just wait there. Okay. So sitting here might do it. Like literally, just sitting here in the underpass might do it because no cops. Yes, you're evading them, you dipshit. It's gonna come by here. We did it. So again, this is how you avoid the cops. You don't outrun them. You don't try to outmaneuver them like you would do in a previous GTA game. In this one, you actually have to just sit in an area where no one just normally drives, and then you just evade them. That's very different from the previous GTA game. Seriously, like, that guy is <laughs> such a two-faced fat- Yes, Phil. Because the game was developed in 2013, not 2003. Piece of shit. I mean, think about how fucking stupid he is. Like, literally, he's calling the girl who he wants to be with from a fucking strip club, right? Like, what a fucking asshole. Diamond Hard, you cleaned out Vangelico to pay back Martin Madrazo. Oh, yeah, today's special is the spicy meat banana. <laughs> right. Squeeze banana! It appears I've received a very generous contribution tonight. I received a $100 tip. He says, This is black. Give me money! Give, give me money! Give, give me money! Give me money! I'm loving your playthrough. Here you go. Thank you to Blackout for a generous $100 hundred dollar tip here tonight i guess the fucking guilt tripping worked about you know people watching not being enough on the gta 5 stream that is obviously the biggest contribution so far let's get blackout up on the leaderboard <clears throat> all right los santos cat cool from the actual original collector's edition of this game a decade ago very nice <laughs> so he has a special ability that Come freezes out. time and makes him completely right. invincible. Oh, pretty insane, actually. You forgot how to use your horn? What the hell happened? Why did he? What happened? Why did the car instantly light on fire and then explode? Right? What happened? Oh my god, it exploded! It fucking sign fucking explodes! Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. Reach Ron to the airstrip. Cool. <laughs> Neat. Oh god. Oh shit! Yup, I saw that coming a mile away. Well, you know what they say. Ship I flew too close to the sun. Like hit it, now like, uh, like Icarus. You beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher Oops. your carcass and arrest you. force, and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any of Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. What? The plane's landing gear was badly damaged. What? Ship oh, fuck. I did the whole thing from over here. Remember, you... Whoa. Why is he even flying that low? Oh, oh shit! Oh my god. Why is he even doing that? Have a good night, Willow. Shipment successfully <laughs> delivered, Ron. That's not funny at all. Alright. I could have done that really low bridge saw so we went we passed it. That's what I was trying to get that time when I hit it. I was trying to go under it and I, I mistimed it. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh I wasn't looking! Oh no, I wasn't looking. 
Uh, Nick Batista with the two. Indeed, man. Give me monies. Open your wallets and give me all of your monies. Oh, no. I wasn't. I totally wasn't looking. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm a gamer. Oh, my God, dude. I don't know. Do y'all want to watch his Street Fighter Rage I video tomorrow? Bananas. Should we watch this shit tomorrow? I really give up. I mean, this scene is pretty incredible. 45 minutes of him losing 40 matches. <laughs> oh my god. Featuring the... Wait. Oh god. Does he go on a depression rant again? Oh god, dude. That was my depression. That had me losing in Street Fighter. Oh my god. Alright, we'll watch this tomorrow. Right after he bought new buttons for his arcade stick and bragged about them, we get a 45-minute video of salty losses. Oh, God. I can't afford this shit! Oh, my God. Yelling and screaming. All right, we'll check this out tomorrow, guys. It is three for me, so I'm going to head to bed because I got to get up early. So have a wonderful Tuesday, everyone. Appreciate all the support tonight. Big ups to everybody in the chat, and I will talk to you all later. Peace out, everyone. Respect trans kids. Affirm trans rights. Stand with Ukraine. Black Lives Matter. Trans visibility is valid.